So this is it. Day one of training at the WWE Performance Center. As you can see, it looks like everyone heard I was coming and decided they'd be better off staying home. This is cool, but there's no way my journey ends here. I'm going to WWE and then straight to the top where I make sure hey, that- what are you doing? You're an hour and a half early for your orientation. I was just checking out the facility. <laughs> There'll be plenty of time for that later. How did you even get in here? Guy up front let me in. Oh, big guy with the mustache? Kinda sweaty? Yep. Well, that's Todd's final strike. Hope he enjoys early retirement. Oh, no need to get anyone in trouble. He, uh, definitely checked my ID and even did a pat down. Really thorough. So Todd's all right in my book. I feel very safe in his big, sweaty hands. Fine, whatever. Anyway, you're going to need to fill out your information on this and sign a bunch of waivers before you can begin training today. And when you're done with all that, there's actually a fun part. You get to design your wrestling gear in case you become a WWE superstar. You mean when I become a WWE superstar? Yeah, sure. Wait, have you been filming this entire time? Is that a problem? Filming's not allowed in here without prior consent, which you should have been told by security. Frickin' Todd! Turn it off, please. You done with all that yet? Just finished. It takes time to design a look like that. Eh, I've seen worse. So now what? Should I go wait at the front desk with you until it's time to start? Front desk? What do you think I do here? I'm Corey Klein, head recruiter and occasional babysitter of people who don't follow instructions and show up way earlier than they're supposed to. Oh, that Corey. I guess when we were emailing, I just saw your name and assumed that... You know what? It's nice to meet you in person, finally. Go get changed. Then head over to the gym. The other trainees who started last week should be showing up soon. And to clear up any potential confusion on your end, they are men. Got it. Thanks. Hey, new guy, right? I'm Hector Flores. Welcome to the PC. Thanks. I'm excited to get going. Especially since I heard you started last week. It started here, at least. I've been training and wrestling for years before this. It's part of growing up in Mexico. Are you from one of those famous wrestling families? No, where I'm from, you were either into wrestling or football. Sorry, soccer. I chose wrestling. I played soccer when I was a kid, but there wasn't enough punching. So eventually I got into MMA. There was a lot more punching. So why make the switch from MMA to wrestling? I love fighting, but I got burned out with the long training camps and only getting to fight a couple times a year. Plus, I wanted a new challenge. So I started training for this a few months back and WWE took notice. That's good. 
But don't expect this to be easy. You're going to have to work as hard or harder than you ever have before to make it to WWE. I realize that. And I respect everything that WWE superstars do, inside and outside the ring. And I know I can do the same thing, if not better. That's a high bar to set. But good luck. Hey, who are you? It's my first day training here. Who are you? Seriously? Have you not been watching Japanese wrestling for the past six years? I'm Paragon J. Pierce, the biggest free agent WWE signed since AJ Styles. Uh, bigger, actually. I haven't had time to watch Japanese wrestling. I was busy training and fighting in MMA at the highest level in the world. So you're an MMA fighter, huh? Man, you guys are all the same. You come in our sport thinking, it's gonna be easy. But you're in for a real wake-up call. I don't plan on being here very long. They actually should have never sent me here to begin with. But I'm gonna take this opportunity to send you running back to whatever MMA promotion you were cut from. You remind me of a lot of the guys I fought against. All talk. Luckily for them, they don't have to face me anymore. Unfortunately, you do. Yeah, in a wrestling ring, which you have very little experience in. You're in my arena now, rookie. And when I'm done with you, you're gonna wish you stayed in your lane. We'll see. I heard you were starting today. Big fan. Thanks. You a big MMA fan? No, not really. I just love that viral video of the fight where you got knocked out in like two seconds. <laughs> Hilarious. Anyway, I'm actually crossing over from another sport too. I spent some time in minor league baseball. Really? Who'd you play for? Well, I wasn't a player. I was actually a mascot named Ribby. But I was around a ton of good athletes. Oh, okay. Well, that counts for something, I guess. The best part of the job was they used to have indie wrestling shows at the stadium all the time, where I got to rub elbows with legends like Jerry the King Lawler. 
He found out I was training on the side as a wrestler and actually helped me get a shot here. Not that I couldn't have made it on my own. So that explains it. You're Lawler's charity case. It's not like that. I deserve to be here. You'll see. Sure. If I need a mascot to cheer me on, I'll let you know. Whatever. I was gonna ask you to autograph something for me, but now I'm not sure I want it. Probably not worth anything anyway. Relax. I was just giving you a hard time. I'll do it. You might need to sell it after you get cut here. Seriously? I'm messing with you again. See you out there, Case. Huh. <laughs> messing with me again, right? What do you mean? You called me Case, but my name's Chase. Good one. Oh yeah, totally messing with you. That's me, full of jokes. I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of his WWE journey. The rest of you have heard this speech already, so we'll try to make it quick. On our first day, he did the whole ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages thing. It was awesome. We'll do the talking, Chase. I was just telling him about your cool DX intro you did. Chase! What Road Dog was getting at is we are going to give you the foundation to succeed in WWE. What you do with it is up to you. Keep in mind, you will be judged at all times. The big man in the sky is always watching. Not that big man. There's a camera up there with a live feed that goes directly to Triple H's office in Stamford. The coaches and PC staff certainly have input, but ultimately, he'll decide when the time's right to bring the GMs from NXT, Raw, and SmackDown here so you can showcase your talents. I'm ready for that now. Yeah, we know you think that, but it's not your call, big shot. Okay, now that all that's out of the way, we're gonna start with some one-on-one -on -one matches to see where everyone's at. All right, new guy, since it's your first day, we'll let you choose who you want to face. Okay, let's get started.
Hey, good match out there. I think I almost had you. You fought hard. There's no shame in losing. I guess I just don't want to be seen as the weak link in our training class, you know? Like the guy that no one really expects to succeed, or the one you want to face whenever you need an easy win. You've only been here a week, right? I don't think anyone thinks that. Not yet, at least. Hey, keep your head up. You can do this. I'll try. Thanks, buddy. over the mascot. Really impressive. I bet Triple H is talking to all the GMs right now about the new guy at the PC who had the courage to face the weakest opponent here. Just because I wrestled Chase today doesn't mean I'm scared to face Hector, you, or anyone else. I'll believe it when I see it. And so far, you haven't shown me anything. Yeah. Well, I'm sure we'll have the chance to face each other real soon. As long as you don't keep dodging real competition.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from New York, weighing in at 269 pounds, Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Smoke. A key component to his transition from MMA to WWE was cardiovascular conditioning. MMA fights have rounds and most bouts end quickly. Once the bell rings in WWE, the combatants battle until the end of the match, so it's a higher level of conditioning. Let's see how he handles it tonight. Gentlemen, Hulkamania is about to run wild. There is only one, the Immortal. And his opponent from Venice Beach, California, weighing in at 302 pounds, Hulk Hogan. So between WCW and WWE, Hogan has had double-digit world title reigns. Not to mention, he's a two-time WWE Hall of Famer and the biggest name in the business in the 80s and 90s. WWE Universe is going crazy! I don't understand why all this hot dogging and grandstanding already. The match hasn't even begun yet. Don't you know, Corey, Hogan feeds off the energy from the WWE Universe. It's going to power him through this match. And by the way, what you going to do when Hulkamania runs wild on you? That's pretty good, right? No, terrible. At least you and Hogan have the same hairline. <laughs> You can feel it when Hogan enters the ring. There is no more powerful force in WWE than Hulkamania. Oh, the goosebumps are forming all over my skin, Michael. I'll admit, the Hulkamania is running through my veins. You can see the adrenaline fueling Hulkster as he get underway. But he'll be facing someone who has been looking for a challenging fight for quite some time now. Hopefully, he'll get it tonight. able to avoid that. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Wow! No mercy being shown to Hogan here. The Hulkster now with a daunting task ahead of him. Oh, the kick connects. Well-placed kick. Oh, Well-measured strike. Both wrists captured. It. That was nasty. Devastating kick. Big reversal from the Hulkster. These two showing how well scouted they each are. Setting it up. Boom. Double leg takedown. Step through looking for a submission here. Legs are locked up. Uh oh. Oof. Face first. He's starting to struggle here. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stage. Up and down the hard way. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Perhaps the perfect match. Never any doubt in this win.
This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation. The following contest is a handicap match. Making his way to the ring from New York, weighing in at 269 pounds, Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Smoke. This guy used to stick to one weight class back in MMA, but he's made a good adjustment into the world of WWE where his opponents come in all sizes. His striking ability is ridiculous. He has phenomenal submissions and is learning to use the entire ring. Listen, this is pure electricity. I feel like the entire arena is shaking right now. It's all thanks to the unmatched power of the Brown of the And their opponents first from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds. The Capture the imagination of the entire sports entertainment industry. The Brahma Bull, one of the very best of all time. Without question, The Rock has been a champion at every level. Hey, Saxton, your role? Know it. Your mouth? Shut it. That wasn't very nice. It is just such an incredible moment every time The Rock competes. Desire to be the best ever has been fulfilled. The Great One possesses amazing agility, power, and stamina. The Brahma Bull looks set to run over the competition here tonight. Stone Cold Steve Austin says what he wants, does what he wants, and he's not afraid of the repercussions. No, now we're talking. And his partner from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds. Stone Cold Steve Austin. What a mess. The iconic. Texas Rattlesnake, a pivotal figure in the Monday Night Wars. If it isn't the definition of irony that WCW once fired this man who would go on to become one of the biggest names in the history of this industry. Stone Cold Steve Austin has done it his way every step of the way.
Corey, what can a competitor do to figure out the odds and devise a plan for this type of matchup? Whatever you do, stay out of your opponent's corner. That's a surefire way to feel outnumbered and where you don't want to be. If you can't stay out of the corner and away from the numbers game, it is only a matter of time before the match is over. Or worse. Superstar looking for. Legs are great by now. The arms are trapped. This won't end well. Oh, big stop. Yeah. Up and down the hard way. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Oh, off for the win. Understand the sentiment, but now is not the time to bask in disbelief. Rock moves in the nick of time. Definitely not where you want to be right now. Just carried like a rag doll here. It was tossed. She could airline miles for that. Gets the tag. Yeah, you just punch him in the chest. And he's a step ahead of Austin. The Rock tagged in. Big time throws line. Good grief.
Sub-Zero. Scorpion. Smoke. Big effort tonight. A well-earned victory here tonight. With a win like that, you have to stand back for a moment and realize all your hard work paid off. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from New York, weighing in at 269 pounds, Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Smoke. And his opponent from East London, weighing in at 190 pounds, Danny Birch!
champion, Smoke. Hey, big news. We got another member of DX coming to help out for a bit at the PC. Hornswoggle? Uh, no. One of the members of the best version of DX, X-Pac. No offense, but I actually think the original version of DX was the best. Wow. Offense taken. It's funny. Sean always tells me the same thing. You guys were cool, but Sean and Hunter were the OGs. Okay. What if when X-Pac is here, we had a match to settle this debate? You and your OG hero, Sean Michaels, versus me and X-Pac. I've got two words for you. I'm in. Leave that to the pros. Tango una gran oportunidad para ti. That's Spanish for I got a big opportunity for you. Ignoring your terrible Spanish for a second, 
And what's the opportunity? WWE was contacted to send a PC student to El Mago's retirement show in Mexico. They actually requested Hector, but for some reason he doesn't want to do it. So if you're interested, we'll have a triple threat between you, Paragon, and Chase to decide who will go to face El Mago's son, El Mago Jr., at the event. Reservar mi vuelo, which means book my flight. I only looked up that one sentence, so I'll take your word for it.
Good luck against El Mago Jr. in Mexico. I hope you beat him. That's the plan. I've been meaning to ask, why didn't you want to go? Yeah, um, just wasn't feeling it. It would have been a chance for you to compete in your home country. And you're probably a fan of El Mago, right? I was, but he wasn't a fan of me. That's all I can really say. Just go get the win over Mago Jr. Okay.
Hey, we have some good news. You're not going to have to deal with us much longer. Well, maybe if everything works out. What do you mean? Triple H feels like he's seen enough from you and the rest of the class. So it's time for an official evaluation. Is this the PC showcase you mentioned back on my first day? Exactly. All of the GMs will be here to see you guys in action. If you impress any of them enough, you might receive a contract offer. Thanks for helping me get to this point. I won't let you down. You put in the hard work and earned this opportunity. Now it's time to deliver and reap the benefits. I'll be ready. We should also mention that each GM is going to be accompanied by a superstar from their brand to help evaluate you guys. And by evaluate, you mean you're gonna face one of the visiting superstars. We already know how you do against the other guys here, so we wanted to give you a new challenge. That all sounds good to me. So, who will I face? Well, the options are Oni Lorcan from NXT, Shinsuke Nakamura from SmackDown, or the toughest challenge out of the three, Drew McIntyre from Raw. Keep in mind, there's no wrong choice. But being a tougher opponent would be more impressive to the GMs and potentially open more doors. But if you lost, the risk might not be worth it. So, now that you've had 10 seconds to consider this life-altering decision, what's it gonna be? I want to really impress the GMs. Give me Drew McIntyre. All right, we'll make it happen. Good luck, kid. Wait, we almost forgot the best part. There's a little surprise waiting in your locker. Oh, you mean his custom gear we made for him. Well, now that the cat's out of the bag, remember your first day when you designed your wrestling attire? Well, we figured it might help your chances if the GMs could see how you'd really look in WWE. Unless you'd rather stick with your plain old boring training gear. Uh, no. I think I'm gonna go with my custom look. Thanks, guys. Just a heads up, I wouldn't get all worked up about this PC showcase, since the GMs are really only coming to scout me. That's not what I've heard. Who are you going to face anyway? I'm taking on the mascot. I'll dominate him and show the GMs what they've been missing out on. Wait, so you're not even facing one of the visiting superstars? Sounds like someone is scared to lose in front of the GMs. It's called being smart and putting myself in the best position to succeed. Maybe you should try it sometime. But good luck getting a contract with whatever half-baked decision you made. I am so jacked for this PC showcase. I had a dream last night that I beat Paragon and was signed by Mandy Rose to Raw. And then the dream got crazy. Uh, but we don't need to get into that. You beating Paragon and getting signed to Raw wasn't the crazy part. Oh, no way, man. I can do this. I step up my game when the pressure's on. And besides, all I need is one shot. Well, I admire your confidence. And I hope it works out that way. Maybe we'll end up on the same show. <laughs> That'd be sweet. Could even ride together, live together, work out together, eat together. I know. We could do a lot of things together. All right, well, good luck in your match. I'm going to go buy a new suit to impress the GMs, specifically Mandy Rose. If our real-life connection is anything like it was in my dream, there's going to be fireworks when we meet. Uh, not literally like pyro or anything. I mean like the romantic kind. Yeah, I get it, Chase. 
Good luck with all that. I've heard a lot about you, and you didn't disappoint with your win over Drew McIntyre today. With that being said, I'd like to offer you the opportunity to sign with NXT. This is a big decision, and I need to think it over. That's fine, but you don't have a lot of time. Weigh your options and get back to me. I wasn't planning on making any acquisitions today, but after what you did against Drew McIntyre, I'm impressed. So I want to offer you the best opportunity you're going to get, a chance to sign with Raw. I've always wanted to compete on Monday nights, so I accept your offer. That's it? You're not even going to ask about your pay? I already did my negotiating in the ring. Fair enough. We'll send you the paperwork. Don't make me regret this. You're looking at the Blue Brand's newest superstar. It took longer than it should have, but finally, I'm going to show the WWE Universe what the rest of the world already knows. When it comes to wrestling, I am the Paragon. Good for you. I'm going to do the same thing on Raw but without the lame attitude and nickname. Wait, you got signed to Raw? Yeah. Uh, did you not see me beat one of their top superstars? No, I did. I just thought they would recognize it was a total fluke like I did. But I guess every brand needs curtain jerkers. I'm really gonna miss you. Hey, I heard you're going to Raw. Congrats. Thanks. I saw you talking to Regal. He make you an offer? Yeah, and I'm going to take it. I think it's a great fit for my style, and I'll be able to compete for the Cruiserweight Championship. But maybe we'll cross paths again sometime in the future. Never say never around here. That's right. Buena suerte. Heard you got signed. Congrats. Thanks. What's the matter with you? What's the matter? 
You and Hector and Paragon all got signed, but no one wanted me, and now I'm stuck here while you guys are all moving on to bigger and better things. Comparing yourself to us isn't going to help. Your time will come, trust me. You just need to take a hard look in the mirror and see what you can change to capitalize on the next opportunity that comes along. That's good advice. But what if it wasn't anything that I did wrong? What if someone in WWE doesn't want me to succeed? What if I'm being held down? Bro, I think you've been spending too much time on social media. There are no conspiracy theories in play here. All right, but that is exactly what you would say if there was one. Chase, keep your head up and continue to work hard. I gotta go clean up my locker. That's not code, is it? Like you're not trying to tell me there's a conspiracy theory against me? That I'm being locked down? Wink twice if I'm onto something. Chase? Congrats on getting signed to Raw. Think you're gonna do big things there. Thanks for saying that, especially since we haven't always seen eye to eye. It's hard for me to see eye to eye with anyone these days. That's a joke. But nonetheless, this is always a proud day for us. But just remember, don't slip up and embarrass me or the other coaches, okay? So basically, don't do anything you would have done when you were starting out in WWE? Exactly. Good luck, kid. I'll be watching. It's the arrival of the newest edition of Monday Nights. GM Mandy Rose and the WWE Universe are lucky to have this superstar on Monday Night Raw. I know he's accomplished a lot in other places, but let's see how he does here on the Red Brand. Then we'll talk. Crazy dream. I turned on a classic movie after Raw ended, and when I fell asleep, my brain was a whirlwind of wicked witches, scarecrows, and tin men fighting all my favorite WWE superstars. Got me thinking about tornado tag team matches. Any chance you'd click your heels and make all my dreams come true? <laughs> combined weight of 489 pounds. Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Smoke, and R-Truth. Obviously, this guy's in amazing condition and can handle a fight, but will the no off-season, 52-week fighting schedule of WWE play a factor? He can hurt you so many ways, but he has large boots to fill given the legacy of MMA fighters in WWE. WWE Universe excited to see Mr. Rude in action tonight. And their opponents first, representing Dirty Dogs from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds. The glorious Robert Rude. Guys, this dude. Looks like a million bucks. That's an understatement, Cole. I think the robe alone is worth that much. Come on, let's go! Yeah. 
You think about rude guys, he lives large in and out of the ring. Does Robert Roode ever stop bragging about how talented he is? Listen, when you have that much bravado, you gotta back it up. And Roode does just that. It is undeniable that Robert Roode is a polished competitor. More polished than the top of Saxton's skull. WWE roster and representing Dirty Dogs from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler made it his personal mission to eliminate the complacency that plagues the WWE locker room. Month after month, the preaching is the same. Dolph Ziggler truly believes no one can hang on his level. He's truly a top dog, no doubt about that. It's going to be hard to keep an eye on all the action as things begin to get hectic in the ring. Will these teams be able to adapt to the rules? Style points won't matter here. The team coming out looking for a knockdown drag out fight has the right attitude. What a forearm! He got whipped into that corner. Zero. Oh.
Adrienne, Smoke, and our truth And it's our truth finishing this one off for the team. This team was totally in sync, attacking in perfect unison like they were reading each other's minds. The following contest is a fatal four-way match. Making his way to the ring from New York, weighing in at 269 pounds, Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Smoke. So much of his training at the Performance Center revolved around developing a multi-dimensional offense for any type of situation. Shawn Michaels worked extensively to improve his catch-as-catch-can skills. Oh, this is going to be good. And his opponents, first, from Huntington Beach, California, weighing in at 282 pounds, Samoa Joe! A man who lives his life wanting to prove to the world that he's the baddest man around. And yeah, Joe always promises a beating of the highest order. You better be careful, Saxton. If you're not, Joe might also take your seat at the commentary table. That's what I call an upgrade. Half man, half amazing, but all business. He's the founder of the Hurt Business. And representing the Hurt Business from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 259 pounds. MVP! Who can forget that MVP once held the United States Championship? for 343 days, which at the time was a record. After a tough upbringing, nine years spent locked up, MVP is living proof. You don't let past failures define you because now all he does is win. Humberto Carrillo is here! And from Monterrey, Mexico, 
weighing in at 198 pounds, Humberto Carrillo. A lot of people have questioned just how far Humberto Carrillo can go, but he assured me that he is as confident as he has ever been. He's in perhaps the best physical condition of his life. He knows what it takes to reach the top here in WWE. This fatal four-way match will determine who will challenge Tommaso Ciampa for his U.S. Championship. Of all four competitors, Ciampa must be hoping to get his hands on the superstar that's been pushing his buttons on social media as of late. First things first, that big-talking superstar will have to handle his business against three other superstars who are just as hungry to contend for Ciampa's time. No, he lets him out. Curious decision there, Michael. Completely render this leg useless. Stump puller leg snap. Very effective. Oh no, it's the Hawaiian drop. Oh, oh that might have just broken something. Whack. Oh, oh god. Mistake made by MVP. Jumping knee strike.
Springboard up. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match and is for the WWE United States Championship. One of the signature superstars in NXT history. The self-proclaimed greatest sports entertainer in history. No matter what you think about him, you can't deny Champa's as tough as they come. Yeah, we've seen Champa recover from not one, but two career-threatening injuries. Not only that, but he recovered ahead of schedule and came back in the best shape of his life. The worst place to be is across the ring from a motivated Tommaso Champa. This is a man who decided a long time ago that there were no lengths he wouldn't go to for success. Because Champa knows his career could end at any time and wants to make his mark and ensure his place in history. Doesn't wait for his moment, he takes it for himself. Introducing the challenger from New York, weighing in at 269 pounds, Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Smoke. And introducing the champion from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, he is the WWE United States Champion, Tommaso.
This is all for the highly decorated United States Championship. Harley Race, the inaugural champion, truly a tough man's title. Tomasa Ciampa has overcome more physical setbacks than almost any other superstar in WWE, and tonight he'll have to overcome his greatest challenge yet to defend his U.S. championship. The challenger has been targeting Ciampa's injuries on social media, and tonight he'll target them inside the ring in one of WWE's most grueling matches. Two fearless superstars willing to push their bodies to the limit for a title. This is what Monday Night Raw is all about. Oh, a barrage of lethal strikes. Champa showing instinct. And then, oh my God, what a forearm! Right to the jaw. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. He's begging him to get up so he can put him back down. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. Re-entering the ring now. DDT plants them. Wards off that move by Champa. Oh man, look at this. It's like he's got eight arms and feet. A flurry of brutality. Some more offense landing on the champ. Yes, for extreme to get extreme. Though this looks like a little more than was planned for. Big overhand. He turns it around. Oh, what a DDT. Producing a trampling kick lands. Chip up one step ahead. Final cut. Perfectly executed. Two count kick out. What do you have to do to put this guy? Sicilian Barrage. The play of punches. Champa has been dethroned. And now it's time for him to say goodbye to his precious stripey. Maybe he doesn't want to. He doesn't seem too happy about it, but apparently Champa is ready to accept this loss. He wasn't ready to accept this loss. Oh my God, what's he doing with those steel steps? I think we've seen this before in Champa's epic battles with Johnny Gargano. Oh no. Fairy tale ending on the steel stairs. The new United States champion could be severely injured. Yeah, he came crashing down face and rib first on those unforgiving steps. And would you look at that? Champa isn't going to part ways with Stripey after all. He's leaving with the United States Championship. Just all around disgraceful actions that we've witnessed here tonight. In any event, stay tuned for updates on the new champion's condition. Here's an update. Not good.
I just saw your post. You're stripping me of the title I just won? Yeah, because I just saw your x-rays and you're going to be out for over a month, which is a month without the U.S. championship being defended on Raw. I have no other choice. You never wanted me to beat Ciampa? All you care about is keeping his record-breaking reign going for the brand and ratings. That's my job to care about that stuff. Besides, we wouldn't be having this conversation if you weren't soft. <laughs> That's what you called Ciampa, right? He attacked me after the match. You know, the match where I beat him. Look, you can go to the Performance Center, rehab your injury, then come back at full strength, and you'll most likely have a rematch waiting for you. Most likely? A lot can happen in six weeks. The alternative is you face Ciampa for the championship next week while gasping for air with a chest full of broken ribs, most likely lose, and then maybe never get a shot again. But either way, the title's returning to someone who can defend it immediately at 100%. So what do you want to do? I don't care what you, Ciampa, or anyone else says about being soft. I'm not going to risk my career for one match. I'll be back for my U.S. title when I'm 100%. All right. I'll let the PC know you're coming. Yeah. <laughs> 
The following contest is a ladder match. It is for the WWE United States Championship. It's been a long road to this rematch between Tommaso Ciampa and his opponent, but here we are with the United States Championship literally hanging in the balance. After weeks of uncertainty, Stripey is only one ladder match away from finding a proper home. Injuries have been front and center in this rivalry so far, but both of these superstars are finally ready to prove whose full strength is stronger. Strong form. Oh, what a crummy blow. Champa on Gordon's damage. Champa getting dismantled here. Champa has to weather a storm here. That's one way to use the ladder. He's setting up the ladder now. Looks like to me he's got it in the right spot, Michael. Oh, what a big uppercut. Oh, from the rope. Heads out, and he has all the time he wants. Quick return to the ring. Set up nicely, right in the center of the ring, Michael. He's hit. The higher ground. Striking while the iron is hot. It is all or nothing at this point. A oh, step ahead of Chapman. What a shot! And the This is insane. Look at this. To him up there. Oh, this is such a dangerous position. He is fixing to take it all here. I'd be shocked if this is it, Michael. Making the climb here. Maybe looking to end this thing right now. Oh, there we go. I might have saved the match for him right there. Oh, he's got this incredible time. Great move right there in what's a very perilous situation. He's not giving up yet. He's shooting. Just won't stop. Got a hold of it. Yeah, let's see how long that lasts. Nobody in this building thinks the match can end here. I think so. Go home. Oh, I don't believe it. Hanging on to the death grip. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. The challenger's looking shaken. <laughs> Firm control. We've already seen a few shots delivered up in that region.
WWE United States Champion, Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Smoke. I The following contest is a six-man battle royal and is for the WWE United States Championship. Introducing the champion from New York, weighing in at 269 pounds. He is the WWE United States Champion, Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Smoke. Remember, guys, the title is on the line here in this one. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands. As far as title defenses go, this is about as big as it gets. He needs to be on his game tonight. Prepare for the arrival of the most vicious, most vile, most violent competitor in WWE. And introducing the challenger from Huntington Beach, California, weighing in at 282 pounds, Samoa Joe. A man who lives his life wanting to prove to the world that he's the baddest man around. And yeah, Joe always promises a beating of the highest order. You better be careful, Saxton. If you're not, Joe might also take your seat at the commentary table. Byron Saxton, this man is a true testament to selfishness. Mandy Rose wasn't lying when she said this would be a unique title defense because the United States champion is about to face off against five former United States champions in a six-man battle The golden goddess never lies, Cole. Champion of champions has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Every one of these superstars wants to walk out of this ring tonight as the best of the best. Let's find out who can actually pull it off. So 
After surviving that match, you have to wonder if there's any obstacle he can't overcome. It's Dolph Ziggler! Zigzag! What the heck? What was that all about? Just when it looked like the United States Champion had no more obstacles to clear, now he has the show-off standing in his way. Dolph Ziggler is a former United States Champion himself. This is only speculation, but maybe he was upset he was left out of the match tonight. That could be, but nonetheless, the champion now appears to have a significant problem on his hands. Let's hear what our United States Champion has to say before his title defense. You all saw what happened last week when Dolph Ziggler attacked me after the U.S. Champion's Battle Royal. I guess he was a little upset he wasn't included and feeling overlooked in general. So, I promised Dolph that I'd come out here tonight and recognize some of the amazing moments from his career. So, let's start at the beginning where Dolph proved he was special from day one, debuting in WWE as a preppy-looking golf caddy. How could anyone ever overlook that? 
not wanting to become too big of a star too fast, Dolph then decided to become a male cheerleader. He truly was a show off of both versatility and spirit. <laughs> After those two stints were so overwhelmingly successful, Dolph again didn't want to outshine his fellow superstars, so he decided to go back to developmental to come up with another amazing persona and give back to future superstars. After this hiatus, Dolph would return and continue to annoy, I mean entertain, the WWE universe for the past decade and a half, even trying his hand at stand-up comedy in front of as many as 20 to 30 people. Speaking of jokes, I think that's about enough of that. Now I'm gonna tell you the truth about Dolph Ziggler. He's not given the credit he thinks he deserves because he has no identity. A caddy, a cheerleader, a stand-up comedian. How can he be recognized if he can't even recognize himself? But here's the thing, I know who I am. And that's the United States champion who will kick anyone's ass who gets in my way. So, Dolph, after I'm through with my match tonight, you won't be overlooked. You'll just be next. Strong words from the United States champion. He'll defend his title coming up next. This is all for the right to call yourself the United States Champion. To put yourself in the echelon of John Cena, Ricky Steamboat, Steve Austin, some of the greats of all time. Over 40 plus years of history for the United States Championship and a new chapter is written tonight. He is delivering elbow after elbow. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Oh, foot just stomping down. Uh oh, check out this power. This is ridiculous. Dominance power slam. Here we go. You run down Dolph Ziggler like the U.S. champion did, and you're going to pay. Where is he, though? Or you pay in the form of mind games. Either way, it's effective. Sequence of reversals there. Avoiding contact. Absolutely spiked. DDT. Measured kick to the vertebrae. Oh, solid contact there. He avoids the damage. Hoist it up. Into the snap. Suplex. It up on their shoulders. Death Valley driver. Down by the DDT. The challenger not looking good right now. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now.
Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Smoke. No other way to put it, guys. That was kind of a butt-kicking. An absolute statement by the victor. Let's not forget the title is on the line here tonight. How can I forget? I've been looking forward to this match for a long time. The champ has never looked more focused, laser focused on the task at hand. WWE roster. Not about showing off anymore for Dolph Ziggler because he believes he's accomplished everything he needs to in WWE, and he's right. One of WWE's most accomplished superstars, a multi-time world champion, multi-time intercontinental champion, multi-time tag team champion. Is there anything Dolph Ziggler can't do? Dolph Ziggler has done it all. He has truly proven himself to be one of the best in all of WWE. Introducing the challenger from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler. And introducing the champion from New York, weighing in at 269 pounds, he is the WWE United States Champion, Sub-Zero. Scorpion Smoke! One of the most prestigious titles in all of sports entertainment here for the taking, the United States Championship. The United States Champion defends his title against a superstar on a mission to win another U.S. Championship, Dolph Ziggler. It sure feels like Dolph's fighting two superstars tonight. The defending United States Champion and the chip on his own shoulder. And I'm not sure he can handle both. Strong words, Saxton. Underestimate the show off at your own peril. And I'd give the same advice to our United States Champion. Ooh. Well, that unraveled on Dolph. Uh-oh, uh-oh. The wrong way up. Dolph gets out of there. Step up. Side rush and leg sweep. Just one step ahead. He switches it back around. Oh, the 
challenger eating up some damage. Samoan drop, Byron. Quiet drop. The following contest is a two out of three falls match and is for the WWE United States Championship. <laughs> Introducing the challenger. The United States Championship is on the line tonight in a matchup between the defending US champion and a past champion looking to regain his former glory. Leave it to Dolph Ziggler to talk his way into a rematch he doesn't even deserve. Dolph can talk, I'll give you that, but he can fight like hell too. The United States Champion better be ready for a war tonight. Oh man, three on your lights out. Stomping. Dolph reverses. Yeah. Oh, check out this power. This is ridiculous. Dominance. Oh. Power slam. Uh oh. Look at this. Oh. And Ziggler is falling behind here. Dolph's got to find a way to defend himself. Slam. Able to interrupt the attack. Jeez. You're going to need your back adjusted after that one. Samoan drop, Byron. Quiet drop. Section. And he's just having his way in this match. Yeah, he has planted himself in the driver's seat. If this lands, it might be all over. Ziggler looking evasive. Here's... 
clear of contact. And a kick to the back. Saw that coming. And another counter. Oh, the stunner. That was the best one I've ever seen. Here he goes for the win. Can he close it out? What's he in for? Someone call a dentist. For the win! Two! Shoulder up, shoulder up! Now is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. Decision there, Michael. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from New York, weighing in at 269 pounds, Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Smoke. He was victorious in his last fight in MMA, but he was unable to reach a new agreement, so he decided to jump ship to sports entertainment. Well, when he requested a tryout at the Performance Center, the news got fans of MMA and WWE talking. Now we see what all the talk was about. Gentlemen, we are about to experience something phenomenal. Here's a man who can do it all and has done it all in short order here in WWE. Maybe the greatest in-ring competitor of this generation. And his opponent from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the Phenomenal AJ Styles. Styles entering the ring, about to deliver a clinic. Gentlemen, you are looking at a man who is sick of the doubters, sick of being questioned about his potential. And I can't disagree with him. I expect tonight to be a night where he can silence the skeptics and prove to be the future of this company. It will be a tall order with the confidence he was in. And he stops the count. But why? There are nasty intentions that still need to be delivered. Big kick. What a double axe handle. Strong Whoa. kick. My goodness. Oh, 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 rock in the jaw. Samoan drop, Byron. Quiet drop. Uh. 
I don't know if I want to go on this trip, guys, but you might have to because it's the time the last ride. And that would force a stop to Styles for the moment. He had to be prepared to take some damage tonight. Samoan drop. Incredible. And Styles is taking a lot of offense now. But AJ can't let this flourish. Do you really? Oh, stomping away. Send a shock down your spine. Oof! Can't find it. Styles a step ahead. Great job refocusing the reverse though. A well-timed dodge. Reversal on top of reversal. That's gotta be it. There's two! Forces the shoulder up after two. How in the world did he kick out? This superstar looks determined tonight. Whoa, from behind. They're going to settle this right now. Bell rings and we are off in this no disqualification match. The rules are out the window and we're about to see how badly these combatants dislike each other. Anything and everything is legal. This is where all the aggression finally comes out. Blue Thunderbomb! This has got to be it. Second one didn't. Effective. Yeah. Oh, man. Ah. Oh, my gosh. Ah. Oh, with authority. Truth gets out of the way. Big time yeah. spine buster. Could lead to a yeah. big time win. He skirts around it. Ah, oh. ah the reversal by R Truth. A counter answered by another counter. Able to avoid any harm there. Ooh. Off the crate. the mark with that one. He fends off the attack. Spiked. Oh my gosh! 
Gosh, what impact. Dodged right on cue. Oh, man, look at this. It's like he's got eight arms and feet. Striking combination. Lethal. Good night. Look at the velocity into the table. Looks like he has something planned with his table, guys. I don't want to know. Yeah. Huh. Oh, no. This isn't going to be good. Slapjack! Our <laughs> truth with a nice reversal. Oh, my God, that's got to hurt. Bullseye with the drop kick. Yeah. This is not gonna be pretty. Not there. Oh, not man. like that. Flapjack. Ouch. Hoist it up. Boom. Feast. It's no secret that I have a soft spot for the more mean-spirited competitors on the roster. It's actually my birthday next week. As a special treat, wondering if you could take out one of Raw's more honorable superstars in a no-DQ match? I swear I won't tell anyone it's for me. <laughs> when it's no disqualification, that means a competitor can be attacked at will, and it's all legal. Yeah. This is when you see just how sadistic a competitor can truly be, and that makes for a frightening scene. It's anything goes. You have to do whatever it takes to survive this situation. There's no limit to what someone will do if they are unleashed without restriction. He's locked him up. Powerful suplex toss. Whoa. A big splash. He takes control. He's heading back to the ring. Boom. Kick gets caught. Knee right to the face. He's rummaging for some sort of equalizer underneath the ring. Oh! Right to the back. Dawkins' attack gets reversed. Boom! DDT! Just thrown away. Comes back into the ring. Fishing for something beneath the ring. Settling on the kendo stick. No good can come from this. Ah, how's that for a counter? Great reversal. Chest. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. He planned for this and could still rally. Oh my, down with authority. Dropkick finds the spot. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Oh, what a close line. 
it's okay, they weren't that pretty anyway. Heads out of the ring, what's next? Oh boy, come on, not the chair. Placing them into the corner. And he goes into the ring. Dawkins' attack gets reversed. Implanted by the DDT. It's a recipe for cracked ribs. Ooh, these are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is exponentially multiplied. So many dangerous attacks, one after the other, making it difficult to regain any composure. Dawkins was ready there. Bang it back with their own counter. Right down with a DDT. And Dawkins is really being knocked around here. Yeah, Dawkins needs to find a way to right the ship here. A barrage of lethal strikes. tools and he put them to use tonight.
Hey, did you get my text? I did, and the voicemails, and the DMs. I was almost expecting a handwritten letter to show up in the mail. If that would help greenlight the WCW reunion show, then I'd do it. Look, I heard you already have Rey Mysterio on board, and obviously he can still go. But what about the other former WCW guys who aren't really active anymore? Okay, so what if I bring in another former WCW star and have a match against them on Raw to prove to you this can work? Okay, fine. I'll be watching. But if I'm not impressed then, then it's off. No more texts, DMs, or letters. Deal? I promise, you won't be disappointed. And here he comes! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from New York, weighing in at 269 pounds, Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Smoke. His lightning fast striking ability and his strength are what sets him apart from his competitors. Well, the skills are going to be put to the test like never before. WWE is its own animal. He's a two-time Hall of Famer ready to make a little noise. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a two-sweet treat for you. One of your favorite WWE superstars faces off against a two-time Hall of Famer from DX and the NWO. I couldn't believe it when I heard X-Pac was back tonight. Well, the man looks like he's in the best shape of his life. I wouldn't want to face X-Pac back in his WCW days, and I sure as hell wouldn't want a piece of him now. Oh, X-Pac got caught with a reversal. Ooh. Ooh. Well, Benford. Reversal! Can he take advantage? And not, oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Kicks to the lower back, clutching the wrist. Just absolutely punishing their opponent here. Relentlessly. Double axe handle. And a kick. Expected that one. Sidewalk slam! Almost drove him through the ring. He couldn't make much of that pin yeah. attempt. Yeah. Oh, oh, God! Getting him into the corner. And he's able to counter. Samoan drop, Byron. Quiet drop. Elusiveness from X. Was mounted with punches and not. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Down with the Samoan drop. X. Pac had it scouted. He's stuck in his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Here we go. Catches nothing but air. Ooh, harsh kick. That kick is stopping in your tracks. Oh, impact to the stomach. Following moonsault. Will this be enough? Rope break. Pin stops. This is getting intense. Someone check on Saxton. X Pac looks powerless to every attack. X Pac has to find a way to rip the ship here. Zero.
Strong. Scorpion. Smoke. What an emphatic victory, guys. No contest. Never a doubt. Barely a moment's suspense. This one was about... This should be very interesting. All week long, you've heard about a huge announcement I'd be making tonight. And now the time has finally come. You might be able to guess what it is based on the men who are gathered in this ring and those giant steel letters. But let's make it official. In the very near future, there's gonna be a special one night tribute show to the men and women of World Championship Wrestling. And it's going to be called WCW One Night Nitro. That's right. Raw is now where the big boys play. <laughs> I just want to say it's truly an honor to be a part of helping put all of this together. And I can't wait to pay tribute to the legends in this ring and many more who influenced my career. Now, with that being said, I'd like to... Huge news with the announcement of WCW One Night Nitro. But apparently, AJ Styles has something to say about it. Whatever it is, it must be urgent. Sorry to crash the big party, but I just wanted to say I'd love to be a part of this reunion show too. Apparently, you forgot I spent a few months in WCW before it went out of business. No slight intended. I was actually planning on reaching out to you. Just wanted to make sure we save room on the card for some of the more well-known WCW stars. Well-known, huh? I, I mean well-known in WCW, not in general. Like you said, you were only there for a few months. But I'm sure we can work this out. Let's talk more later, all right? Yeah, sounds good. I'll let you get back to it. As you can see, this show is so big that everyone wants to be a part of it. Now stay tuned to the WCW hotline. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> stay tuned to social media for more information on WCW One Night Nitro. We never thought we'd see this moment. WCW will return for one night only. Hold up. AJ Styles with the chair shot. He's not waiting to talk about this later. AJ Styles clearly felt disrespected tonight, and now he's taking it out on all the WCW legends. And down goes Booker T. Kevin Nash can't stop AJ either. Mysterio off the top. And Styles dumps Ray to the outside. Okay, maybe this will be a fair fight. Guess not. AJ setting up for the Styles Clash. Down onto the steel chair. This was supposed to be a moment to celebrate the legends of WCW, but AJ Styles did everything in his power to ruin that. Just pathetic, in my opinion. This seems to be about more than just being excluded from the event. There's something else going on here. And one more disgraceful act to close out an all-around shameful night for AJ Styles.
all week long, I've been getting messages on social media. Why, AJ? Why did you take out the WCW legends? Why did you ruin one night Nitro? Well, here's the answer. At first, I was slightly offended I wasn't considered for the show. After all, like I said, I was an actual wrestler there. Unlike the super fan wannabe putting it all together, who never stepped foot in a WCW ring. More on him in a second. But then the more I thought about it, I didn't want to be a part of bringing back and honoring the egotistical, greedy dinosaurs who slept walked through their matches just to collect a fat paycheck, putting the company out of business, and nearly killing my career before it ever got started. In fact, it was so bad down there, when they first offered me a contract, I turned it down and took a job delivering water because it paid more. Because all these so-called legends were flying around in private jets with their guaranteed contracts, wrestling four times a year, and there was no money left to pay guys who actually wanted to be there. Ultimately, I ended up going to WCW for three months, and it was way worse than I thought it would be. Every decision from the top guys was made to hold back the younger, more talented wrestlers like me. Finally, it all caught up to them and the company folded. I had to go back to the Indies and work my butt off to make it to where I am today. But I'm the exception. Most of the younger WCW guys from that era, like my old tag team partner, they never made it. So that's how I remember WCW. Not as this company that beat WWE for a short time or part of this over-glorified golden era of wrestling, but a sinking ship that almost took down AJ Styles with it. So that's why I did what I did. I shut down the embarrassing tribute show before it ever happened, and I'd do it again 500 times. So let's circle back to the guy who started all this. You were just a fan when all that with WCW went down. You had no idea what really happened. But in my eyes, that almost makes you worse than the so-called legends you put on a pedestal. You're supposedly a WWE superstar now, so act like it. This isn't your time to play fantasy WCW. It's embarrassing. So you want to talk about destroying me for what I did? Remember, WCW already tried that, and they failed. So I'm gonna do a favor for every man and woman in that locker room who has any actual respect for what we do and destroy you. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Now, I've been looking forward to this one. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from New York, weighing in at 269 pounds, Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Smoke. This superstar had some success in MMA, but never reached the top of the mountain. He said it was due to politics. WWE is the land of opportunity, so there'll be no excuses here. Sink or swim, pal. Gets his chance for revenge against AJ Styles, who crashed his party last week. What a disgraceful display from the phenomenal one. But that's what we've come to expect from AJ Styles. See, I think AJ Styles must have learned something from his old job delivering H2O because he poured a bucket of cold water on the WCW reunion show and every legend who thinks they can waltz back into the ring whenever they want. There's repercussions for that, like this match tonight. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. It's nothing he hasn't been through before. Ooh, that got turned around on Styles. Stomping. Ouch. Styles gets out of the way. Fall away, Moonsault. Wow. Able to elude it. Impact in the corner. 
This is what you call high risk, high reward. To the sky. Knees oh, right to the gut. Is he attempting a Styles Clash? It's Finn Balor. What's he doing here? It seems Balor's attempting to help out his former club partner. He's certainly got everyone's attention. AJ Styles has a, a chair, and the referee has no idea. Neither does his opponent. It's Kevin Nash. We haven't seen Nash since Styles took out the WCW Legends a few weeks back. This is his chance for payback. is happening. And now AJ taking advantage. He's going to do it. He hits this and it's done. Styles Clash. One, two, three. And it's all over thanks to the interference from Finn Balor and the shocking actions of Kevin Nash. This is unbelievable. What exactly is the relationship between these three? I'm not sure if Balor and Styles even know. There's your answer. It looks like we've just witnessed the birth of some kind of new NWO slash club type alliance. This is bad news for WWE. Oh, I agree. Nothing good can come from this. The WWE Universe on their feet. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 539 pounds. Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Smoke, and Goldberg. As a trained mixed martial artist, he has an immediate striking and leverage advantage here if he's able to utilize it. And don't forget his expertise in submissions, which make him a tough matchup for opponents. Let's see what tactics he's got in store tonight. You are looking at a one-of-a-kind superstar. Former Intercontinental Champion, United States Champion, WWE Champion. Plenty of hardware to back up his success. And their opponents first, accompanied by Kevin Nash from Gainesville, Georgia. Weighing in at 218 pounds. The Phenomenal AJ Styles. Always on the hunt for glory. He is the consummate in-ring competitor. Oh, 
AJ Styles is a great competitor, but hardly professional. Come on, Byron, you can't argue with AJ's success. The Prince has arrived. A decorated champion who has truly reinvented himself. And his partner from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn. The first ever Universal Champion, a multiple time Intercontinental Champion, NXT titles. What can't the Prince do? And it seems like year after year, Finn Balor just reaches greater heights in his career. WCW legends, and things turned even darker when Kevin Nash joined forces with Styles and Finn Balor. They sure did, especially for the superstar originally responsible for the ill-fated One Night Nitro. That superstar will try to get even with Styles as he teams up with a WCW icon who's ready to fight back against this emerging alliance of outsiders. If they take them down, then AJ will be on the hook for a one-on-one -on -one rematch. AJ with the wherewithal to pull it out. Styles is getting dominated. AJ's got to slow this momentum down. I don't know if I want to go on this trip, guys, but you might have to because it's the the last ride. Off into the pin. Only a one count before the kick out. Showing his determination there with that kick out. a projectile now. Fall away moonsault. Is it enough here? One, two, a kick out to stay alive. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. Boom. Boom. Nice. Boom. What a high kick. I don't know if I want to go on this trip, guys, but you might have to because it's the way down. last ride. Kick out just before two. Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. Oh, man, look at this. It's like he's got eight arms and feet. Striking combination. Lethal. Boom, what a high kick. Styles has no control here. AJ's got to find a window to fight back. Great response to AJ there. An incredible combination. This could do it. One, two. Hey. You know, the breakup. Tag is made, and here we go. Ooh. This is just an overwhelming amount. On him. He's got to reevaluate his approach at this point. What more? 
can be said. I don't even think Finn knows how he kicked out there. Will that be the last opportunity? Is this doing up right to these men? Oh. And he kicks out of the pen and one. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. Getting tossed. Looking it up here, what's next? Outstanding suplex. Two. Barely kicks out. Obviously still has some fight left. Global had that scouted. Roundhouse on the move. Balor retaliates. Brain buster. Able to get the advantage here. Nice drop kick. Balor shows the will. He deflects it right back. Getting out of the ring the hard way. Uh oh, uh oh. A long way up. A long way down. Last ride. Looking for the victory. Two kicks out. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. One after another. Oh, well, that'll cave your chest in. Stomping down. Look at the Keeps his focus on an attack to that area. Caught the leg. A series of reversals. Oh, nowhere. Okay. That might just do it. today. Oh yeah, I am pumped for this guy. The following contest is a steel cage match. Making his way to the ring from New York, weighing in at 269 pounds, Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Smoke. The killer instinct of the MMA cage is part of this competitor's DNA. Word is he was actually banned from competing in one MMA organization, but he's adjusted well to the rules of the WWE ring. Tonight, 
it just became phenomenal. A terrific striker, a master purveyor of high-flying, innovative offense. AJ Styles has competed at this level for decades. Such a special and his opponent athlete. from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds. Sometimes AJ Styles might be deemed arrogant and also opportunistic. When you're as phenomenal as AJ Styles, there's nothing at all wrong with being confident. Uh, confidence has led him atop the pecking order. What started as an attempted tribute to WCW's larger-than-life legends blends here tonight between two superstars looking to leave their own marks on WWE. And they'll have to do it in a steel cage match, which means no more invited guests and no more uninvited guests either. After what we've seen recently, I'm not even sure a steel cage can contain this issue, but we're about to find out. Slam? Got the single arm under him. What a suplex. Yeah. I don't know if I want to... Styles taking it by surprise. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Picked up. First DDT. End of the road. Back. He's lost some of his win now. Oh, that could be a knockout blow. Boom. Oh, trampling the opposition. Styles gets out of the way. Oh, Roundhouse connects. Into the DDT. And here we go. He's headed up the cage. He's one step ahead there. even set foot in the cage, but to win is even more impressive. I'm not impressed at all by AJ Styles' effort tonight. Well, I mean, he tried. With today's technology, I can watch wrestling anywhere. At home, when I'm out, on the toilet. Oh, come on, everyone does it. Shorter matches are best to watch in the bathroom. Otherwise, your legs fall asleep. Anyway, 
As a favor to me and my circulation, think you can wrap up your next match in five minutes or less? MVP has been trying to get the crew to follow a dress code of wearing suits. Says it's good for business for everyone behind the scenes to look as sharp as the superstars. But I lug a camera around on my shoulder all day, and a suit is not sweat resistant. Can you get him to back off? MVP has been trending. What are you expecting from this superstar tonight, guys? Well, he did say earlier that he's going to attack his opponent with a renewed hostility that we've never seen before. Yeah, he also said he's going to make the competition beg for mercy. But he's facing a man who's excelled in amp cover here. Oh, come on. What is he thinking? You had him down where you wanted it. Bad predicament right here. Oh, my. Sent flying. Whoa, not quite yet. Oh, look at this. Neck lock. Going. Suplex. up against some resistance there. The veteran didn't have an answer. Taking on some offense, but he expected as much. Great reaction from MVP. Oh, look at the knees. Just unloading knees to the body. Just laying it in. Just sending a message there. <laughs> and the pressure on MVP continues to mount. Now MVP has to plot a way to get back into this. MVP managing to get some control back now. MVP needed that to get himself out of jeopardy. Great wherewithal on the counter. MVP all set up. We're going by. You know nothing about B Sacks. And the cover for the win! And a kick out right away. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. That unraveled on MVP. Next you one right to the chest.
Here we go as Montez Ford takes on the superstar who earlier today had literally got into it with Kane backstage. It takes a lot of gall to lay out Mayor Kane, especially when you're in his neck of the woods. But that's the kind of confidence this superstar brings to every city he goes. Confidence? More like a death wish. Chinoku driver producing a trampling. Turning the tables there. And he saw that coming from Montez. Ford finds himself on the defensive. Somehow Montez has to turn the tide. Good contact. A oh, perfect kick. He's struggling a bit here. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble the superstar exposes himself to. Close line. Look at him totally vibing with the WWE Universe right now. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. Two. Three. Oh, the spear. He may get the three count right here. This is it. One, two, three. Huge victory tie. Hold on. If this guy's day can't get any more interesting, I might have an idea what this is all about. Yeah, after what we heard happen backstage. And not Mayor Kane, it's the big red machine. The demon has been awakened. Choke slam! He's been put on notice.
opponent from Parts Unknown. Weighing in at 323 pounds, King! One of the most dominant, destructive forces in the history of WWE. Multiple world and tag team championships and more destruction to come. Last week, Raw ventured south to Knox County, but one superstar traveled further than any other into the flaming inferno known as Kane's Hell. And now the demon is here for revenge. The Big Red Machine may have just come alive, but Kane's choke slam last week may have broken something in his opponent, too. I'm just saying. Stomping down! Kane prevents the attack from connecting. And responds with a counter now. Uh oh, uh oh. The wrong way up. Oh, time the last ride. This match grinded him down a little. If he can hold the line here, he'll be in a good position. Oh, Kane counters. The Devil's favorite deep gets him with the counter. And down with the suplex. The Big Red Machine is now under heavy pressure. Kane has to turn this around and quick. Got it scouted. There's a snapmare. And a basement drop kick. Target the chest, very effective. Well, he knew what was coming. Ooh! I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. From way up down. Ooh, DDT delivered. Social media now he has to answer him face to face. Let's see how tough he is now. Undertaker's not going to wait. And there he goes. He wants nothing to do with the dead man. He just took down Kane. I think he's had enough of the brothers of destruction for one night. They are ready for battle. The following contest is a Tornado Tag Team Match. And at a combined weight of 519 pounds, Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Smoke, and the Viper, Randy Orton. This superstar had some success in MMA, but never reached the top of the mountain. He said it was due to politics. WWE is the land of opportunity, so there'll be no excuses here. Sink or swim, pal. Wait. 
322 pounds, The Undertaker and Kane, the Brothers of Destruction. Gentlemen, this has all the makings of an all-time classic match, and I fully expect it to deliver on that promise.
And there you see the Undertaker checking on Kane. Wait a minute. From behind. With a chair on Undertaker. And Orton's got one, too. They are laying waste to Kane and Undertaker. Come on, you won the match. This is too much. Well, this is an extraordinary sight. Goosebump inducing. The awe inspiring entrance of The Undertaker. Darkness has completely engulfed this entire building. Admit it, Byron, you're scared. A little bit. We are seeing a legend in the flesh. And his opponent from Death Valley. Weighing in at 299 pounds, the Undertaker! The magnificence of the Phenom. Truly a mesmerizing scene. The legendary Phenom creates an atmosphere unlike anything you will see. Talk to anyone who's ever been in the ring opposite The Undertaker, and they will tell you nothing prepares you for this. The stoic walk of the dead man. You know, Undertaker is a time-honored warrior of the ring. No matter what you do, I'm not sure there's anything that prepares you for The Undertaker. So many superstars have stood across the ring from the dead man, paralyzed with fear. with The Undertaker taking on a superstar who stared the dead man right in his cold, dead eyes and didn't even blink. Hell in a Cell has been The Undertaker's playground throughout his career, but his opponent is hoping to end that storied career tonight and gain the recognition that he thinks he deserves. Well, if he wants attention, he's going to get plenty of it here tonight. It might just not be the kind he's looking for. It's like I always... Closer to the chain link enclosure. Fishing for something beneath the ring. And he's going with the great equalizer here, the steel chair. Yeah. Ooh. And he was ready for Undertaker. Ooh. 
There are so many iconic names attached to this sort of match. Shawn Michaels, Stone Cold, Big Boss Man, Triple H, Rikishi, The Rock. I could go on and on and on. How about that fateful night between The Undertaker and Mankind? Now this should be fun. The loser of tonight's match will be forced to wear a mask of the winner's choice for 30 days. That's a long time to have to carry the shame of losing this match. It sure is, Byron. We're in for one heck of a face-off on Raw. Oh. He's going for it all. Oh my gosh, a follow-up moonsault slam? for the back suplex. No. Oh, what a kick. Stomping. Ouch. Great counter. Impressive ring IQ on display there. He's reminding his competition that they'll only ever be second best. 
Samoan drop, Byron. Oh, no, it's the Hawaiian drop. Oh. Big kick. Boom on the jaw. And landing with the double axe handle. Well, here is a great star with a ton of potential. A graceful flyer. You're right about those things, Cole, but unfortunately, potential doesn't pay the bills. Can Carrillo turn it around? We find out right now. And his opponent from Monterrey, Mexico, weighing in at 198 pounds, Humberto Carrillo. A lot of people have questioned just how far Humberto Carrillo can go, but he assured me that he is as confident as he has ever been. I've seen some wild matches over the years in WWE but never anything quite like this. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Chicken Korea. Humberto Carrillo and his opponent have said some pretty ugly things to each other, but it can't get any uglier than this chicken mask. Anything's possible with these two in the ring, Saxton. Oh, stomping away. First one missed, second one didn't. Effective. Oh, what a kick. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Stiff kick. Oh! The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. DDT! Oh! Well scouted by Umberto. Quick oh. strike to the lower body.
Look who it is. The following contest is a... to being a successful tag team. And Cole, I would know all about that. Hey, what about me? I excluded you for good reason, Byron. Now back to the action. Oh. Evading offense. He went right into that turnbuckle. Oh, he knew what was coming. Correa gets reversed. Oh, a numbing blow to the chest. And Humberto is one step quicker. Producing a trampoline. Ooh! Well placed kick. He's absorbing some tough hits now. Yeah, this is exactly why constant frequent tags are so important in a match like this. To keep fresh. Bam! Headed to the top rope. In a submission match, you have to take signature maneuvers that result in a pinfall out of the equation. It's about making your opponent tap out to win. The superstar can use that move to weaken their opponent, but they must be able to lock in a submission. Yeah, you're right, Saxon. It doesn't have to be a submission move a competitor is known for, or one that's been declared before the match. We can very well see some of the deepest tools in the toolbox tonight. He knows how to avoid contact. Nice takedown. Evades their offense. Ziggler may be in trouble here. He looks as good as ever so far, though. He's been able to avoid any debilitating holds at this point in the match. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. And set right into the corner. On the second row, corner in Ziggler. Well measured. Ooh. Good contact. 
Dolph gets out of there. Down on the chest. Good night. What a stunner. Oof. Kick finds it. Strikes with a kick. Kick lands. Devastating kick. Getting sucked. Dolph Shanky. The end of the trap for him could be near. Resistance. Dolph's got to find a way to defend him. With the cut. Can he shut the door on this one? And a kick. This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen. This highly anticipated confrontation is under submission match rules. No pinfalls. The only way to win is to tap out or pass out your opponent. I've got a feeling we're about to see these superstars bust out submissions that we haven't even seen from them before. He switches it back around. Big kick. Oh, what a kick. Boy, what a kick. Really just landed it in. He moved. And he capitalized. Quick thinking pays off. Great wherewithal on the counter. Look at this, going counter for counter. This match grinded him down a little. The submission match is all about wear and tear, Cole. He'll do well to remember that moving forward. Ooh, stinging kick. Connects on the kick. Oh, perfect kick. Connected on that. And Eric escapes danger. Oh, a deafening blow to the chest. Catches the leg. Quick exchange of counters there. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Ducking out of trouble. Can't quite get him there. Just the official has to call. Here is your winner, Sub-Z.
Zero. Scorpion. Smoke. This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamrolling. The boy wonder has arrived. I can hardly contain myself, fellas. And his opponent from New York City, weighing in at 235 pounds. He is the best in the world, Shane McMahon. Well, Shane McMahon was born with a silver spoon, but there's no doubt we'll take any risk to win. This matchup we never thought we'd see as the former MMA competitor takes on Shane McMahon in a Raw Underground style match. Which started weeks ago with a TBT post from Dolph Ziggler ends here tonight with the Raw Underground ringmaster fighting under these conditions for the very first time. You gotta respect Shane O'Mac's courage, but he's in way over his head tonight. Counter after counter. Shane O'Mac felt that coming. Samoan drop, Byron. Quiet drop. Now oh, trampling the opposition. He gets out of the way. Floto. Might fight Shane back.
That seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat. The following contest is scheduled. Looking into the eyes of this competitor tonight, you know he understands the significance of this match. This is an opportunity to make big headway on the roster. And across the ring is Ivar, a one-of-a-kind party animal. Ivar always enjoys throwing himself headlong into combat and feasting with a large hunk of meat. Ivar certainly does have a zest for life, and you're right about his love of combat. Few superstars look as at home in the ring as Ivar. You can tell this Viking was born for battle. Producing a trampling. On oh, a stop. Oh, look at this. Oh, kicks. Oh, man. Good grief. Turn your lights out. Ivar did his homework there. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Everything working against Ivar now. Yeah, Ivar needs to get moving as soon as possible. Solid connection. It's stressful always being on high alert. Never know who's going to come after me and my title. But this really helps. Oh yeah, that's it. Keep going, right there. Damn, I guess the reviews were right. You do have strong hands. Okay, easy now. Time to flip over onto your back now. Hey, what the hell? <clears throat> Come on, ref. Our One, truth can two. never get a moment to relax. Not as long as he has the 24-7 championship. 
The hottest potato in WWE being contested the 24-7 championship. It's the best title ever, Michael. What other championship has been won by both me and Corey? Correction, Saxton. I won it. You stole it. Flapjack! Punch lands. Truth caught by surprise. Samoan drop, Byron. Oh, my, and drop. Oh, strong impact. Yeah. Oh, my God. Ooh. Truth gets out of the way. Oh, down by the DDT. Oh, what impact. Ow. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh! He knew that was coming. Boom! Oh, what a high kick. Well executed suplex. And shoulders are down. Moved at the right time. Ooh. Ooh. Well measured. Oh, right in there. Legs caught. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. Well placed kick. Oh, the reversal by R Truth. He's able to fend off the attack. Saving us from having to sit through that. That's gotta One, be it. Two, two, three. Yes, new champ. Seriously? I didn't even get one minute to celebrate. Enjoy your 24 seven championship you reign while you can. All right, get back here. Big win over our truth champ. Thanks. You're not mad I beat your friend? If I got mad every time he lost a 24 7 championship, I'd be a very angry person. <laughs> Good point. I actually wanted to ask a favor. I'm always looking to improve my in ring skills, and since you seem to be on a roll, would you watch my next match and let me know what you think? Yeah, sure. No problem. Thanks. And there you see the 24-7 champion checking out Carmella's match. Looks like he's seen enough. Wait, our truth from behind. Falls count anywhere. We've seen this type of match devolve pretty quickly. That's a beauty, Cole. I don't think anyone cares about a win here. This is about punishment. It's about making a statement to the whole locker room that you're not someone to trifle with. Nasty kick to the face. He's got him scouted. Boom, what a high kick. Now oh, trampling the opposition. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. DDT. Uh-oh. Yeah. 
A flurry of brutality. Mounted with punches and not oh a nasty stop to finish it off. That'll hurt DDT. Right to the back. Oh, kick connects. And Truth capitalizes there. Steered clear of that. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Oh. Spear! Looking to end it here. This could be it. One, two, three. And this one is over. Hello, Mr. McMahon, I'm here for the meeting you requested. <laughs> Made me wake up early to come down here and then you're nowhere to be found. Nice. Hello, Mr. McMahon, anyone? Ha <laughs> ha, hey there, pal. Just getting a last second workout in over here. Come on over and join me. Let's see what you're made of. One.
Introducing the... The WWE United States title is on the line. A title with so much history. Oh, the winner almost becomes the defender of the red, white, and blue. Well, that is, unless they choose to use the title to insult Americans, as some have. Hey, the title holder's freedom to do so, Saxton. Oh, foot just stomping down. This superstar looks determined tonight. Whoa, uh, from behind. They're going to settle this right now. And this has turned into a brawl. Forget about any match. This is a street fight. Down. Michinoku driver. Oh, a kick. Wow. Saw that one coming. Took advantage. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. It's a no good driver! Oh, perfect kick! Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Ooh, stinging kick. Ooh, sharp kick. Strong Whoa. kick. My goodness. Oh, he retaliates. With the counter. First one missed, second one didn't. Effective. Boom! Quick sidestep by Titus. Drop kick on target. Ah. Cha-ching. Step up in Zaguri. Ah. Run right through with the spear. Up across the shoulders. Feast your eyes. Oh! Oh, man. Oh! Bang! Oh, wow.
This superstar looks determined tonight. Whoa, <laughs> from behind. They're going to settle this right now. Watching this no DQ match, I can't help but think of all the great no disqualification matches we've seen in WWE over the years. No doubt, Michael. Triple H versus Brock Lesnar in 2013. The Rock versus Mankind in 1999. Both classics. But the all-time best has got to be Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 26. Yeah, I hate to disagree with you, Corey, but Stone Cold Steve Austin against The Rock at WrestleMania 17 was the greatest no disqualification match of all time. In fact, it might even be the greatest match in WWE history. Let's just agree that all of those matches are great, and I'd argue this one could live up to that same hype, guys. Samoan drop, Byron. Oh, no, and it's the Hawaiian drop! Oh, really just laying it in. And Cedric expected that. Implanted by the DDT. Oh, oh man! <laughs> He's able to sidestep there. Cedric has him. Michinoku driver, wow! And he saw that coming from Cedric. Yeah. Oh, what a kick! Clearly waiting for that. Spear! Up across the shoulders. Boom! Feast your eyes! That kick will stop you in your tracks. Yeah. Yeah. Up across the shoulders. Oh, I knee right to the. Better get ready. After a heated backstage brawl, things started their issue. Cedric Alexander and the budding disciple who attacked him take their fight to center stage on run. And they'll be joined by Murphy and Ricochet to make it an official tag team match. Let's see if Murphy's partner can help him win this match and impress the Monday Night Messiah. Oh, what a counter. Cedric shooting up the turnbuckle. Uh-oh. Oh, my God, what a move. Rapid knees. Oh, stomping away. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. And a mud hole is being stopped. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Devastating kick. Great reaction from Cedric. Samoan drop, Byron. Oh, no, it's a Hawaiian drop. Oh.
Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Smoke, and Murphy. Two great superstars that go great together, and that win is proof. That was a great example of what a tag team can do when it's firing on all cylinders. Mustafa Ali and the Jewish recruit taking on Cedric Alexander in one of the most lopsided handicap matches we've seen in some time. You have to ask yourself, what will Seth Rollins' disciples stoop to next? Whatever it takes to win, Saxton. If this lands, it might be all over. So now I drive. from Cedric. Dropped right on their face. And he barely evades. Fall away moonsault. Wow. And Cedric expected that. Bought directly to the body. Dodges out of the way. Elbow smash. And down face first. Gets him with the counter. Oh, check out this power. This is ridiculous. Dominance. Power slam. You must have seen that coming. Oh, God. Knee meets face. Counters.
The Royal Rumble is right around the corner, but for some reason you've been unusually silent about it. I'm still deciding what I want to do. If you're going to be even loosely associated with us, then we need full transparency. So are you going to attempt to qualify or no? I think it would be a mistake if I didn't. Okay. Well, good news. I already spoke to Mandy Rose and got you in a 10-man Royal Rumble qualifying match tonight. It pays to have friends in high places. Yes, it does. The Royal Rumble is right around the corner, which means spots in this year's match are getting harder and harder to come by. But tonight, 10 WWE superstars will fight for the chance to pursue a career-defining win. Samoa Joe has been eliminated. in particular, Michael, who found his way into this match thanks to an assist from the WWE Champion. Must be nice to have Seth Rollins on your speed dial. It sure is, Saxton, but as usual, you've missed the forest for the treats. There are a lot of hungry competitors in the mix tonight, including future Hall of Famers AJ Styles and Samoa Joe. And I guarantee you, those two don't want to watch the Royal Rumble from home. Ooh! With the reversal! Get ready! Swivel. One mistake and he could be out of here just as quickly. Big kick. Boom, what a kick. Oh, what a kick. Who's it going to be, fellas? And Dawkins is in for the are really heating up now.
Don't want to ruin your big night, but I have some bad news and thought you should hear it from me first. What's going on? Management has started drawing entry numbers for the Royal Rumble. And I found out that you drew number two. Damn. I know. I tried talking to Mandy, but she couldn't change it. There's only so much power I have around here. But look, I was in the same spot in 2014. I can't remember. Did you win? No. But I lasted nearly 50 minutes, making it to the final five. But you can do more. You can win. I know it. And then after that, at WrestleMania, you defeat the Universal Champion from SmackDown, and we control WWE together. Sounds like a plan. You're damn right it does. The following contest is the Royal Rumble match. The two superstars that drew number one and number two will start in the ring at the same time. Other superstars will join in the order that they drew. This will continue until all 30 superstars have entered the ring. Eliminations occur when a superstar is thrown over the top rope with both feet landing on the floor. The last superstar in the ring will be declared the Royal Rumble winner and go on to face the champion of their choice at WrestleMania! So much money, it ain't even funny. Here comes the richest man in NXT history. Saxton, maybe you should ask Grimes for a little loan. You can update that suit game. You know what? That's not a bad Introducing idea. Introducing the participants. First, from Burlington, North Carolina, weighing in at 220 pounds, Cameron Grimes. So you could say Cameron Grimes is similar to the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, but even classier. Cameron Grimes, a stock market savant, somehow made money buying coins for dogs. That's not exactly how that works, Sex, and I'll explain later, but Cameron Grimes about to make even more money tonight when he captures the winner's purse of this match. Yeah, now we're talking. Introducing the individual who drew number two from New York, weighing in at 269 pounds, Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Smoke. Well, this superstar wants to accomplish what many have deemed impossible and go on to main event WrestleMania. This superstar better get ready to be pushed to the limits. When it comes to limits, Byron, I assure you, this superstar is equipped and ready to push back. One of the most spectacular events of the year is about to get underway. The Royal Rumble match. As you know, the winner will secure an opportunity to challenge for a championship on the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. I've got chills, Michael. Think of all the legends who have won the Royal Rumble. Think of all those electrifying Rumble moments we've seen over the years. And tonight, one of 30 superstars will join that pantheon of greats. And 29 others. Hammer Grimes has been eliminated. Unlucky superstars who face the difficult challenge of having to kick things off at numbers one and two. Someone 
someone who could change the complexion of this match in a major way. Get out of his way if I were in the ring. And that Mansoor oh, has, sure has been eliminated. And Mansoor is brought to a disadvantage now. Every form of offense Mansoor attempts is being neutralized. Look who it is! Oh man, just listen to the crowd. Has 
been eliminated. Another 
chance to simply take it all in. There he is, and he's geared up. I would get out of his way if I were in the ring. Everything working oh, against O'Reilly has been eliminated from this adversity. Who's coming to the ring now, guys? This could possibly change the complexion of this match, Michael. And that's it for Jimmy Uso. He's has been eliminated. And if you're looking for a difference maker, well, you may have just got one. Seamus able to momentarily stop the bleeding, but will he also gain control? Next entrance, getting ready to come out. He's got the target acquired. Just a matter of moments. Well, now this should be interesting. What an exciting addition to this match. Counter. And now there's an opening. inside this arena. Saxton, let's just wait and see.
Let's hear what WWE Champion Seth Rollins has to say after his little misstep on social media. His account was hacked. Part of being the Monday Night Messiah is being honest with your disciples. It's that trust, that bond that gives us strength and allows us to accomplish great things. So I'm here tonight to tell the truth about why I did what I did, to show it was all for the greater good and still can be. So I'll speak directly to our discontented brother, Messiah to man. First, let's get this out of the way. My social media account was not hacked. We did have intentions of striking you down if you chose to face me at WrestleMania. That's the truth. But full disclosure, there were other transgressions that took place before that. I told Mandy Rose that you didn't want an automatic qualifying spot in the Rumble, that you really wanted to earn it, which got you put in the 10-man qualifying match. That's the truth. And then when you won that match, we needed another plan. So I pulled some strings and got you the number two entry spot in the Rumble. And then of course we all know how that turned out and how we ended up here tonight. And all of that is the truth. So now I bared my soul to you and shown you everything. We can still work together. We can still do great things win the Universal Championship at WrestleMania, and we can take over WWE like we had planned. Or, you can ignore the truth, throw everything away, and take on the Monday Night Messiah and his disciples and face your destruction at our hands. Make no mistake, if you challenge us, we will finish the burial that I started. But remember, I was just trying to steer you toward the correct choice to help you succeed. And that's what I'm doing again now. But this is it. It's your last chance. Make the right decision. Honor the truth. And trust me for the greater good. Will the Royal Rumble winner listen to the Monday Night Messiah and put this all behind them? Or will he choose to take on Seth Rollins at WrestleMania? We'll find out soon enough. The WWE Universe heard from Seth Rollins earlier tonight, and we all want to know, did his words have any impact on who you will face at WrestleMania? You might be wondering why I'm holding this shovel. You see, Seth likes to speak in metaphors and talk about all sorts of things like the greater good and embracing the truth. <laughs> so I figured I'd speak his language. Seth, you and your disciples tried to bury me, but you failed. And now I'm going to bury you at WrestleMania. That's right. I'm not changing my mind. But you know what? Why wait until WrestleMania? I'm gonna start the burial tonight by taking out your disciples in a three-on-one match. <laughs> Actually, I forgot about the shovel. Make that three-on-two. As Seth Rollins' followers prepare for this three-on-one match against their former ally, you have to imagine their leader, the Monday Night Messiah, will be watching closely. With the odds heavily in their favor, Seth won't be satisfied with anything other than a convincing win. I think that's exactly what we're going to see here tonight. From behind with that shovel. He's not waiting for the match to start. It's no longer three on one. That shovel's an equalizer. He's taken out weeks of built up frustration after being held back by Seth and his group. He said he was going to bury Seth's followers, but I didn't know he meant it literally. I think Mustafa Ali and Austin Theory could have serious injuries. It doesn't appear that the scheduled match will take place. Seth's crew is decimated. Maybe, but it looks like Murphy still wants to fight. Poor decision on his part. This guy's out for vengeance. 
Nonetheless, it looks like we're now going to have a singles match. And here's a superstar that has all the tools to be one of the biggest names this business has ever seen. I'm not ready to crown him as the next big thing just yet, but his performance in this match could sway me. You're not the only person to be looking to convince tonight. Then there's Murphy across the ring, a man searching for recognition. A superstar who's trying to step out of the shadows and make a name for himself. Murphy may be overshadowed at times, but make no mistake about it. Murphy's a wildly talented competitor with a tip on his shoulder and fire in his lungs. And landing with the double axe handle. Oh, stomping away. Double axe handle. Murphy turns that away. Unpacks a well-placed punch. Punch! Using the ropes for the rope. What a roundhouse kick. Will get your attention. Able to get out of the way. Another reversal. That might end Murphy's chances. And that's all she wrote. Here is your winner, Sub Zero. Scorpion Smoke. No other way to put it, guys. That was kind of a butt kicking. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. We are about to see something good. Here we go, gentlemen. Huge title match coming up. And a huge opportunity for the champ to prove to everyone that there truly is none better in all of WWE right now. The challenger looking determined. He will need the performance of a lifetime to become champion. Well, the Messiah has arrived. It is time to embrace the vision. The Messiah in his kingdom. Seth Rollins at the showcase of the Immortals. Michael, you of all people have to remember the heist of the century when Rollins cashed in his money in the bank at WrestleMania 31. He'd go on to defeat Triple H at WrestleMania 33, but the highlights don't stop there, Byron. No, Rollins won the Intercontinental title at WrestleMania 34 won the WWE Championship at WrestleMania 35, and Rollins is guaranteed to perform another WrestleMania miracle tonight. Introducing the challenger from New York, weighing in at 269 pounds, Sub-Zero. 
Scorpion. Smoke. And introducing the champion from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds. He is the WWE Champion, Seth Rollins! That's what it's all about, the WWE Championship. The challenger wanted this opportunity, now he's got it. Well, it's always fun to go to the zoo until you fall into the lion's den. The challenger had better sharpen his teeth. The road to WrestleMania has led to this. The defending WWE Champion Seth Rollins will take on his former associate, a superstar who some call the Grave Digger, due to his vicious pledge to bury Seth Rollins once and for all in tonight's no DQ WWE Championship match. One of WWE's most fearsome alliances has been shattered by the quest for this WWE Championship, Michael. You have to wonder how those betrayals will affect the outcome of one of the most personal WrestleMania main events we've seen in years. You're talking about Murphy, Austin Theory, and Mustafa Ali, Aki Byron. That's right. They've all got something on the line tonight in what should be an absolutely brutal no disqualification format. Listen, sometimes the only road to WrestleMania is the low road. Seth Rollins and his opponent know that, but only one of them will leave WrestleMania as champion. struggling. Rollins in deep, deep trouble. Looks like they're going to get revenge for what was done to them on Raw with that shovel. Never underestimate the Monday Night Messiah. We should have known he wasn't going into this match without a backup plan. I know there's been a lot of turmoil between these men, and this is no disqualification, but this is WrestleMania. It's not supposed to end like this. This is going to get ugly. I can't watch. What the hell? What just happened? He hit Seth with the stomp. Could this be it? He's done it. After a shocking turn of events where former allies turned enemies became allies again, Seth Rollins has been dethroned, and we have a new WWE Champion. And more than a new champion, it looks like we have a new alliance with a new leader. I think we just saw the birth of a new Monday Night Messiah. And Seth Rollins can't believe it. He thought he had the match and his WWE Championship secured, but that was not the case. The new champion set out to bury him, and that is exactly what he just did. This is a WrestleMania moment that will be remembered for a very long time. I'm in shock. Wow, uh, congrats to the new champion, I guess. The following contest is the WWE Universe just exploded.
We've seen the opposition tonight post on social media about laying it all on the line to leave here tonight with that coveted prize. And it won't be easy. This champ is as dominant as we've ever seen from a title holder. I've got a feeling this one will live up to the hype. The pressure is on for the champion, looking to cement himself as one of the best of this era with a big win tonight. Introducing the challenger. Tonight, the Monday Night Messiah preaches gospel from inside a steel cage as he tries to win back his title from the newly minted WWE Champion, who has proven time and time again he may very well be the most powerful man in all of WWE. There's nothing like strength in numbers, Michael, and the WWE Champion has that in spades with three new disciples in his corner. I just don't see a world where Murphy, Austin Theory, and Mustafa Ali don't find a way to get involved tonight, not Cage or not. Yeah, yeah, everyone in the WWE Universe has been talking about the shovel hurt round the world at WrestleMania, but the reality is the new WWE Champion has been the man to beat all by himself. And Rollins capitalizes. And look here, he's making his way up the cage. Fortitude being tested with every step. Trying to climb out and intercept it. Oh, no. Oh, the Unceremoniously set right back oh. down to the canvas. Oh, that was a devastating ball. Oh, what a DDT. Rollins getting worked on here. Rollins has to devise a new plan. Oh, just turn that around. Getting set up for something in the corner. Yeah. He's one step ahead there. Oh my gosh, a follow-up moonsault slam? Yeah. Big knee to the midsection. Yeah. The challenger is not in a great place. Yeah, this has been grueling. The story of this cage match is getting written on these competitors' bodies. Scaling up the cage wall. The sprint up the cage is on. as they come.
Well, misery loves company. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 389 pounds. Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Smoke, and Mandy Rose. Two of the very best at doing whatever it takes to win. Well, I think we're about to see some brand new ways of cheating. Iron sharpens iron, Saxton. One half of the street, Prophet. Stir it up, Michael, stir it up. And representing the Street Profits from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 232 pounds, Montez Ford! You know, Montez Ford likes to have fun, but a you know, true honor to be a, a part of his matches. I spent four years protecting our country as part of the Marine Corps, also worked for the Navy, but now he makes his living and WWE. We all want the smoke. You can't handle the smoke. Yes, I can. She calls herself the EST. And from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Bianca's been exceptional her entire life. She earned all SEC and All-American honors in track and field at the University of Tennessee. And if you just ask her, she'll tell you why she's better than everybody else. You got eyes, Byron. You understand. Yeah. A freak in the weight room. A beast in the ring. Bianca Belair can do it all. And she's got a lethal hair whip. Raw's general manager Mandy Rose and the WWE Champion are teaming up to take on Bianca Belair and Montez Ford after Mandy's had some issues with Bianca as of late. I'm not sure why Mandy chose the WWE Champion. Is there something developing between these two? It's simple. Mandy chose her partner because he's the WWE Champion. As far as I know, there's nothing else going on here. Let's keep it professional, Saxton. And Belair gets beat to the punch. 
She sent flying into the corner. Dolly DDT's! Nicely done. Into the cover. So important in a match. Don't be named in here. Oh, come on, ref. Get some control. Shut up, Byron. There are chops and another. Here they come over and over. And there's more. Put it in the corner now. Oh, look at this! Incredible together! Dually DDTs! Nicely. And there's the cover! And Mandy Rose. And this mixed tag team proves to be a very effective one tonight. Two men with one common goal can be a dangerous thing. They're putting the entire locker room on notice. Is scheduled for one fall. Oh, yeah, I like this guy. Wow, the Scottish warrior is ready for battle. Brandishing the King's Blade. This is a man who fought his way all the way to the top of WWE. Completely different mindset than his first time around in WWE. And for years, people always talked about the potential of Drew McIntyre, what he could accomplish. Well, it seems finally Drew McIntyre is embracing those expectations. Well, the chosen one has now become the one. Introducing the champ. There's been a lot of whining from Drew McIntyre coming into tonight's match about possible collusion between the WWE Champion and Mandy Rose. Am I the only one who thinks it's possible that Drew McIntyre's just a little bit jealous? Oh, come on. 
not, Corey. I don't think it's considered whining if it's justified. Only one thing is for sure, the deck is stacked against Drew McIntyre. Will he be able to climb the mountain and recapture the WWE Championship? Let's find out. Stomping. Ouch. McIntyre gets away from that. Fall away moonsault. Wow. Kick lands. McIntyre reverses and looks to capitalize. Some serious damage to the arm being inflicted here. And he's able to reverse. Oh, perfect kick. Getting sucked. Kick. Connects on the kick. Strikes with a kick. quick end to this match. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamrolling. One of the best superstars around. There's certainly been no shortage of drama leading up to tonight's Extreme Rules match between Braun Strowman and the beleaguered WWE Champion, especially after the champion's very public falling out with Raw's GM Mandy Rose. Extreme circumstances for this Extreme Rules match, Michael. It's the monster among men versus the monster among taking flight. Oh, a huge miss there. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Signs. 
Jeez. Dodges. He saw that one coming. Suplex brings him down. And he retaliates on Strowman. Back and forth from these competitors. Looking to catch him off guard. And he breaks the pin right away. He wasn't even close on that pin attempt. He reverses it. Drop kick. Oh, oh, great height. So perhaps the perfect match. Never any doubt in this one. Here we go in this highly anticipated WWE Championship match. Hold on, it looks like Raw GM Mandy Rose is here. I wonder who she's gonna side with. Certainly not the WWE Champion after everything he's done. The WWE Champion has already overcome one Braun Strowman sized beatdown tonight, but can he handle back-to-back -back thrashings? No man should endure that much pain in one night, but that's exactly what the reigning WWE Champion will have to do to defend his title against the former champion Drew McIntyre. I'd wish the champ good luck, but he's going to need a lot more than that to survive this match. But hey, embarrass Mandy Rose, and this is what you get. Up the turnbuckles. What's he going to do? Stirring back to his feet, but he might not know where he is. Oh, uh, look out. Oh, God, that, that's a bad landing. That is what happens when you throw your body around. You eventually meet the pavement. I don't know if I want to go on this trip, guys, but you might have to because it's the longer way down. Last ride. Uh-oh. Look at this. Blue Thunderbomb. This has got to be it. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Drew fending him off. Reversal on top of reversal. He finds a counter to McIntyre there. Oh, foot just stopping down. Oh, what a kick. Well-placed kick. Piercing strike. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Strong kick. My goodness. Oh, what a kick. Makes him pay with a counter. So much damage inflicted. Answering back. Thing. Saw it coming and got out of there. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Neckbreaker. <laughs> Laid down with a powerbomb. Was ready for that. Shot the fire punch. That's a good way to make your presence felt. He's back into the ring. And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. Drew Fenley. That'll have your chest. Oof. Good contact. He was. Boom! Cody Moore the level. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Section. And this match will head back to the ring. Are you serious? How much?
much more can the WWE Champion endure tonight? We're about to find out. Staved up. Covered by the champ. Two, three, retains the title. Here is your winner, and still the WWE Champion, Sub Zero, Scorpion Smoke. That came out of nowhere, and an unexpectedly quick end to this match. There's the consequences of getting caught unprepared. Just goes to show you, you got to be on your toes at all times. Yeah, now we're talking. <laughs> to hold one of the biggest titles in WWE means you're one of the best in the industry. It's been a wild ride on Raw these past few weeks. But the WWE Champion and GM Mandy Rose have vowed to put their drama behind them and focus on this triple threat match for the WWE title. It's about time, Michael. The WWE Champion will defend his title against Braun Strowman and a hungry Drew McIntyre who's had his eye on this title ever since he won a number one contenders match what feels like a lifetime ago. Good things come in threes. Love triangles, triple threats, announce teams if you don't count Saxton. And right now we've got three superstars that absolutely loathe each other facing off for the WWE Championship. What more could you ask for? Just like that, Braun gets pounced on. Drop kick! Great athleticism. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Double axe handle! He is truly feeling it right now, as well he should. A barrage of lethal strikes. McIntyre must be getting phased by this attack. Drew's power currently being suppressed. Look out. Ooh, well measured. Great presence of mind for McIntyre. Stiff kick. Dropping with precision. Oh, that shatter your chest. He's definitely being the aggressor here. Yeah, he is showing us a lot out here. Can't quite get him there. Oh, what a high kick. Look at him. Pride and poise personified. Yeah. Nice contact there. Strowman quickly moves. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. Executed. Escape just in time. The challenger not looking good right now. This should come as no surprise. In a havoc-filled triple threat, you're going to take some big hits. Strong is being cut down in every corner. Braun is shockingly being dismantled. Debilitating attack on the leg. He foiled that attempt. Right down with a DDT. And the electricity of this moment is coursing through. 
through his veins. Looks like the champ is going to retain. And here we go. Introducing the champ. Hashtag WWE Championship. Title match is now officially underway. History could be made. Regardless of which one of these men you're a fan of or you support, you cannot argue. These are two men with championship pedigree. You can't be in this position if that weren't true. First one missed. Second one didn't. Effective. Now trampling the opposition. Oh my gosh. Terminating knee smash. Able to avoid there. The challenger eating up some damage. No need to panic. He's still swinging. He must have had that scouted. Had that one scouted. Sequence of reversals there. Absolutely spiked. DDT. Mace avoids that one. Big clothesline. Ah, oh, Mace answers back. What power. What dominance. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes. Once again. Here is your winner, and stick.
With today's technology, I can watch wrestling anywhere. Gentlemen, you are looking at a man who is sick of the doubters, sick of being questioned about his potential. And I can't disagree with him. I expect tonight to be a night where he can silence the skeptics and prove to be the future of this company. It will be a tall order, but the confidence he possesses could take him very far. And then with Ricochet, you know he's willing to step up to any challenge that is presented to him. Look, Ricochet steps up, but he also steps up when it's not the wisest of decisions. At times, he's got more heart than brains. Just kick to the spine. Really just laying it in. Great counter by Ricochet. Series of reversals. Big knee to the midsection. Oh, solid contact there. Ricochet being grounded for the time being. Ricochet's night is not going according to plan. But Ricochet has to push now while there's an opening. I don't know if I want to go on this trip, guys, but you might have to because it's the final time, the last ride. Goes into the pin, gets the shoulder up. Wow, what's it going to take? Just kicking out at one takes a lot in a match like this. He's looking a little weary now. All things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Oh, what a spear! For the win! Two! No, he gets the shoulder up. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. Well, hearing that Otis wanted a late night snack and devoured everything catering had prepped, hope you're in the mood for peanut butter sandwiches and nothing else. Hey, just don't take it out on Otis, okay? I heard he was hungry. Could have happened to anyone. Here he comes. Looking into the eyes of this competitor tonight, you know he understands the significance of this match. This is an opportunity to make big headway on the roster. Well, unfortunately for him, he's facing Otis tonight. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda miss the old Otis. That's because you're a simple man, Saxton. This Otis is an upgrade in every conceivable way. He's lost the goofiness, leaned into his natural ability, and now he's leveled up into one of the most intimidating superstars on the roster. Both wrists captured. And... Oh, knee right to the face. So much for leveling up. Otis got it taken to him there. It's nothing he hasn't been through before. Uh oh, this is not going to end well. And the attack from Otis avoided. Oh, stop it away. And Otis was ready there. Oh, earth-shaking spine buster. Incredible. On the top, double axe handle connects. There. And he's able to counter. Counter after counter. And he barely evades. Up top.
any truth to the rumors that Dolph Ziggler is messing with everyone's stuff backstage? Hearing he's doing a bit in his comedy routine about the weird things he's found in Superstar's luggage. Shouldn't a locker room leader step up and get him to knock it off? And you can sense the anger emanating from the competitor tonight. Eyes like a blazing fire. This is a man you don't want to be in front of right now. But the man possessed is what he is. And for Dolph coming into this one, I think you need to strip away all the talk on social media, all the interviews. They're all just smoke screens. Trust me, Dolph's coming in with sinister thoughts. Yeah, Zero has always been a master of diversion. Always using out-of-the-ring tactics to distract his opponents from the vicious in-ring wrestling threat that he is. Oh, man. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Samoan drop, Byron. Oh, no, that's the Hawaiian drop. Oh, whoa, this is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I think he was just looking to soften him up a little here. And there's Dolph being out-wrestled. He planned for this and could still rally. The stop in every single part of his body. Oh, no, 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 oh. no. Oh, yes. That holds back Ziggler's attack. An Owen drop, Byron. Drop. Wait, now why? Byron, what's the sense in this decision? I don't have an answer, Michael. If you can put him away, you should put him away. He knows how to avoid contact. Knew what was coming there. Reciprocating the initial reversal. Stomping down. Ziggler looking evasive. Catching a drop kick. Luster behind that kick. What did you want to talk to me about? I realize this is kind of a big ask, but I want to defend my WWE Championship against John Cena. Beating him would solidify my title reign and put me up there with some of the top champions of all time. So, any chance you can make that happen? You know, maybe give him one of those mandates to show up and face me? Yeah, I wish it was that easy. I mean, don't you think I've already tried to get Cena to appear on Raw before? He would bring instant star power along with a guaranteed ratings boost. But the reality is he's busy with various TV and film projects and isn't interested in a return right now. So it's pretty much a lost cause. If I were you, I'd focus on something else. I wouldn't be where I am today if I just quit anytime I was up against some adversity. I'm going to get John Cena to come back to WWE and face me. 
And how are you going to do that? I'm going to take a little trip down memory lane and revisit some of Cena's career highlights. Maybe that will get his attention. The Red Brand's rolling out the red carpet tonight as the current WWE Champion has invited none other than The Miz to Monday Night Raw to square off one-on-one. -on -one. It's a heck of a gambit, Michael, using The Miz to provoke one of WWE's greatest champions of all time, John Cena. And it's a gambit that could easily blow up in the WWE Champion's face. Yeah. Saw that one coming. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Samoan drop, Byron. Quiet drop. Stomping. Ouch. He turns it around. He saw it coming. Fall away moonsault. Wow. The Miz looking a little bit shaken. Oh, man. Oh, great. Turn your lights out. You can see the dismay on the face of The Miz. Not an A-list performance here from Miz. the tables. Yeah, Miz able to stop that surge dead in its tracks. And he rolls out to create some separation. He should have created separation by never coming out here. Great counter impressive ring IQ on display there. Yeah. Great job refocusing to reverse that one. Connects on the kick. He reverses it. It counters. Miz with awesome awareness. Good defense. Oh, check out this power. This is ridiculous. Dominance. Power slam. This match is brutality starting to show on him. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. So this whole Cena thing, hate to say I told you so, but you know what? I don't hate it at all. I told you so. I know how it looks from your perspective, but I promise it's going to work. I just need more time. And besides, I never said this would be easy. Fine, but if you don't get at least some kind of acknowledgement soon from Cena, then I'm pulling the plug. What's your next move? Spotlighting a major loss didn't seem to work, so I'm going to go in the other direction. Oh yeah, I actually got wind of your idea for this already. Trying to replicate Cena's first WWE Championship win by beating JBL? Don't think it's going to matter, but I'll make it happen.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from New York, weighing in at 269 pounds, the WWE Champion, Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Smoke. This guy used to stick to one weight class back in him. Fresh off a big win against The Miz, the WWE Champion will try to get John Cena's attention one more time tonight against one of Cena's former WrestleMania foes, JBL. JBL's a Hall of Famer that can still go in the ring and has a Hall of Fame voice to boot. Give that butt kiss and arrest, Saxton. I'm just stating facts, Corey. Oh, foot just stomping down. Just like that, Bradshaw finds a counter. Just insulting. Fall away moonsault. Wow. Ooh, stinging kick. How's that for a counter? A counter answered by another counter. Oh, a drop. Baffling decision here. A oh, well measured strike. To stomp in every single part of his body. Fall away moonsault. Wow. Into the pin attempt. He's able to kick out before two. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. A well aimed strike. He's looking a little weary now. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes himself to. He catches JBL with a counter. Trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. Bam! Looking for the victory! Two! Three! No, he kicked out! How is that not three? Oh, there was a potential opening with Cena, and you blew it. I don't think it's over. Are you crazy? He turned you down and then you insulted him? We can forget about a match. He probably won't even come back for a simple appearance now. So thanks for that. I'm telling you, I think I struck a nerve with him. And a man like that is too proud to just let that go. Let me do one more thing to get his attention, and if this doesn't work, then I'll move on. You've already tried one more thing, two or three times. He's gonna respect the fact that I won't give up. And then, you'll get your star power and your ratings boost that you want so bad. Ugh, what do you want to do? I want... The Undertaker. What? Let me explain. 
Cena was in the exact same position I'm in with The Undertaker a few years ago at WrestleMania. He was so desperate for a match he bought a ticket and sat in the audience waiting. When Undertaker eventually did appear, Cena lost in five minutes. I remember all that. What's your point? I want to send Cena a final message by doing what he couldn't do at WrestleMania. I want to defeat The Undertaker. That's really pushing it, but I think I can make it happen. And if Cena sticks to his word and never answers your challenge, then at least I'll get the ratings boost I was looking for with The Undertaker. And if Cena does change his mind, then even better. All right. Looks like you got yourself a match against the Phenom. The WWE Champion has been on a roll, but tonight the champ will have to take his game to an entirely new level as he takes on the incomparable WWE legend, The Undertaker. It's the WWE Champion versus the Dead Man on Raw. This is huge! I have a feeling that even John Cena is going to be taking a break from his busy Hollywood schedule to watch this one. That's certainly the champion's plan. Let's see if it works. Dropping the leg. He misses the target. Short flight, but a rough landing. Samoan drop, Byron. Oh, no, it's the Hawaiian drop. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Ooh. Undertaker moves just in time. DDT. Return fire from the Undertaker. Samoan drop. Undertaker looking more here. Oh, man. Undertaker facing some trouble. You can bet the dead man won't rest here. an accomplishment like that, but I think the champion still has other things on his mind. John Cena, over the past few weeks, I've done everything I can to prove to you that I'm worthy of a match, that I'm worthy of your time. I mean, I just beat The Undertaker, which is something you couldn't do. So you know what? Maybe Maybe I've been looking at this the wrong way. Maybe it's not about proving that I'm worthy of your time. Maybe you're not worth mine. I have to agree with the WWE Champion here. It's time to move on from this whole John Cena thing. Wait a second. It's John Cena! The face of WWE has come home! I can't believe it. After weeks of unanswered challenges and then Cena himself saying it wasn't going to happen, the WWE Champion has gotten John Cena to return to Monday Night Raw. 
And there you have it. Cena is back for one thing, the WWE Championship. Hey, this is a matchup that no one thought we'd ever see. And now it looks like it's happening. This is going to be one for the ages. Corey, what do you think of the champ's chances here tonight? I love them. I'm not like everybody else, Cole. It seems like everybody's ready to write the champ's demise, but not me. Many have written him off as champion, but he is determined to prove his doubters wrong. In my estimation, the greatest of all time, the 16-time world champion, John Cena. There aren't too many people who would argue with you, Michael Cole. Certainly no stranger to high pressure situations, to big stages. That is exactly why Cena has earned the nickname Big Match John. 16 time world champion. In my estimation, the greatest competitor to ever step foot in the ring in WWE. His sustained excellence for a decade and a half is unparalleled at this level. It's moments like this that John Cena lives for. The pressure, the spotlight, and the ability to deliver when it matters most. Cena's beaten a who's who of this business. Hall of Famers, living legends, Triple H, HBK, The Rock. The list goes on and Introducing on. Introducing the challenger from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds. He's also in the hearts and minds of the WWE Universe. Yeah. As fickle as the audience can be at times, they know true greatness when they see and it. Introducing we the champion from New York. And that weighing in well at 269 pounds. He is the WWE Champion. Sub Zero. Scorpion. The stakes could not be any higher. It is time for our WWE Championship match. Weeks of grueling battles of all led the WWE Champion to this moment. A chance to etch his name into the WWE history books against the one and only John Cena. Talk about box office. Two of the biggest draws in sports entertainment are fighting for the right to call themselves the true face of WWE. You want to talk faces? The WWE Champion finally got his wish. A chance to carve his mug right up there on the WWE's Mount Rushmore. 
Look at him totally vibing with the WWE Universe right now. He catches Cena with a counter. Drop kick. Producing a trampling and a kick. Samoan drop, Byron. Boy, and drop. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. He deflects it right back. Fighting back with a counter. Cena dodges out of that. Oh, he retaliates. Whoa, not quite yet. as they come. Introducing the challenger. Welcome to what should be one of the most brutal championship matches we've ever seen. Between the defending WWE champion and one of the most decorated superstars in WWE history, John Cena, as they face off in a last man standing match. That means that one of these two extraordinary athletes will need to keep the other down for a full 10 count to walk out of here tonight with the title. It's hard enough keeping Cena down for a three count, let alone 10. Let's see if the WWE Champion has what it takes. Watch out, nobody hold on that. Producing a trampling, an agile escape. Oh my gosh, a follow up moonsault slam. Your perfect moonsault. Yeah. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Big knee to the midsection. The challenger is looking shaken. And Cena starting to falter here. Cena has to find a way to reassert himself. And that cuts Cena right off. Oh, come on, really? It looks 
like they're not done inflicting punishment. Referee has to break the 10 count now. He's able to fend off the attack. Able to get out of the way. Oh, man, look at this. It's like he's got eight arms and feet. A barrage of lethal strikes. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Look at this now, draping his opponent over the announced desk. These two showing how well scouted they each are. And the hits to the core keep coming. Power for the suplex. Cena stays off the attack. Cena here. Check your face after that one. An uninterrupted surge against Cena here. Cena's just trying to weather the storm. He has got something destructive in his mind. How do you survive? Close to the carnage, Saxton. Feel free to leave. This is what real velocity looks like.
And if you want to reach the pinnacle of sports entertainment, there's an argument to be made that you must win the WWE title. Absolutely right. There have been legends and Hall of Famers who never won the title, but putting this on your resume moves you into a different class of competitor. Boom! Bicycle knee strike. Oh, on the jaw. Sent into the corner. Counters that. Landed in. He's got him scouted. He manages to escape it. DDT! Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Good timing with that reversal. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Ooh. Ow. Jeez. A flurry of brutality. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. Fall away, moonsault. Wow. Whoa, just flowing through the air. Devastating kick. Champa avoids damage. survive that by the skin of their teeth and don't expect the champ to start going easy on them now what's the tally on how many times we thought this match was coming to an end i can't count anymore looking for the victory two three and the champ stands tall once again I've been watching a lot of old Andre the Giant matches recently. <laughs> Nothing like a big man doing big man things. I mean, can you imagine what it would have been like to face him in his prime? And here we have a superstar with a big chip on his shoulder. He has certainly felt overworked recently. Well, he has a chance to change that perception in this matchup. But across the ring, you have a man who's the odds-on favorite in any match. Andre the Giant. A competitor who's not only bigger and stronger than almost anyone in the history of WWE, but who has traveled the world proving he's the most extraordinary athlete of all time. You don't get to be the eighth wonder of the world without conquering the globe. And Andre's done just that. Oh, look at this. Oh, kicks. Ooh, oh, man. Good grief. Turn your lights out. He saw that one coming. Each competitor showing they've done the homework. Yeah. Stopping down. Oh. Able to parry that one. experienced a blow like that one. Oh, what a kick. An elusive giant there. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. He takes control. Oh, a rear super kick. Oh, behind. Nasty. Oof. Kick finds it. Good contact. Strong oh. kick. My goodness. Oh, what a kick. the kick. And responds with a counter of their own. Able to give him the slip. Oh. Able to get the advantage here. Got to find a way to get out of this. Launch face first. Oh, it is aggression, just pure brutality. 
Fatality. Oh, easy. Oh, what a high kick. Yeah. Yeah. Stunner. The Giants in real danger now. I had the Viking Raiders on the podcast, and we did a segment about the current Raw roster. Who's the biggest prankster, the messiest, that sort of thing. Guess who they gave the ugliest scowl and least likely to get a date award? <laughs> I've got your trophy back at the office if you want it. This guy is ready. Handicap match here, and by design, these matches put a superstar at a very heavy disadvantage. Yeah, you know you're coming in with an instant disadvantage, but if you can pull it off, you'll have won some serious respect. That's a pretty big if, Saxton, when the numbers game is against you like this is. And that one misses the mark. Suplex. He switches it back around. the damage. Series of reversals. Oh, what a shot. He's lost some of his win now. Looks like the heightened action of this handicap match has caught up with him a little. Face first with a waistlock takedown. Setting up. Nice suplex. Vertical suplex. Wow! Oh, foot just stomping down. I will get his homework there. Oh, DDT. Down a perfect vertical suplex. Oh my gosh! Got the tag. Got the tag. Cha-ching! Step up, Enziguri. Ooh, harsh kick. Connects on the kick. Some serious damage. Pinpointing the leg. Ooh. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Delivering a series of sharp elbows. Into the corner. He's in off the tag. Arms a hook, opponent trapped into the power bar. He 
thinking big. From the top, crash landing. Maybe he's found a new source of aggression to battle back with. Reversal on top of reversal. Hits him with the counter. Oh, man, look at this. It's like he's got eight arms and feet. A flurry of brutality. Everything with you. Here he goes for the win. Danny close it out. There's really no telling what this match might have in store for us. Just about the only thing you can count on is total pandemonium. Yeah, chaos is the name of the game here. These superstars are going to be living out their most unhinged and dangerous dreams in this one. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Oh, stop it away. He steers clear of contact. He's looking a little off balance. Strikes with a kick. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. And a kick. Ooh! Just sending a message there. And Ford had it scouted. Crafty way to get out hard there. Stunner. Montez is in a very vulnerable position here. SmackDown is lucky to have this addition to its roster. We'll see how he fares here, but I think he has the chance to do big things.
Hey, I've been meaning to talk to you. I know you've had some success here on SmackDown, but I have some constructive criticism if you're mature enough to handle it. I'd like to think I am. What is it? I found some holes in your game. Several, in fact. And if you don't repair those holes, they'll get bigger and bigger and you'll never make it to the next level. Really? Yes, really. You can ignore what I'm saying and accept mediocrity, or you can take my advice, train hard, and better yourself. I don't know. What do you get out of all this? Other than the satisfaction of helping someone become the best version of themselves? Potentially a tag team partner. But only if you accept my help and address your weaknesses. I can make a slideshow if it'll help make this any clearer. I don't think that will be necessary. Okay, so what's your answer? Do you want my help or no? I want to be the best I can be. So let's do this. Great. I'm going to run you through an intense program of challenges that will pinpoint and correct each of your weaknesses. First up, your toughness. From what I've seen, it's lacking. Agree to disagree. No, agree to agree. To fix this deficiency, I want you to go start a fight with Riddle and win. Got it? All right. This superstar looks determined tonight. Whoa, <laughs> from behind. They're gonna settle this right now. The bell is rung and anything goes in this no disqualification match. This is just going to be a brawl that can turn real ugly real quick. No rules to obey means no limit on how nasty this one can get. And I love it. Ah, oh, that hurt. And he's able to reverse. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. Able to parry yeah. that one. Can't quite get him there. Ha. Turned that one around. Oh. Oh, ouch. Ooh, man. Ooh. Oh, man. Oh. Jeez! Ooh! A flurry of brutality. Run right through with the spear. He's lining him up. Tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Up across the shoulders. Feast your eyes. Double axe handle. Riddle left him high and dry. Riddle gets reversed. Ooh, well measured. A well-aimed strike. An agile escape. Blasted by a forearm. Elbow drop. Piercing. The final cut. Perfectly executed. And he said, you're not getting me with that. Ooh, Riddle with the kick. And he's not done there. The bro mission is low. Trying to find a way out. Several right hands, and he's out. Yeah, he 
Gets it right back. Up across the shoulders. Boom! Feast your eyes. Ooh, a sharp kick. from Riddle. Yeah. Paying it back with their own counter. Yeah. Ah. Oh, low drop kick right on the patella. Riddle out of the way. Yeah. He's got him in his grasp. Check your face after that one. Oh, man. That's it. Calling it by knockout. I saw what you did against Riddle. Could have been worse. I took down one of the toughest guys on the roster, and that's all you can say? It was a step in the right direction, but you have more leaks in your boat to repair if you want to be the best version of yourself. Okay, so what leak are we fixing next? I see holes in your submission game. Prove me wrong in a submission match. And I'll be out there watching in person, so no shortcuts, because... Shortcuts are bad? No, we've been over this. If you take shortcuts, you get cut short. Now come on, start paying attention and don't let me down. They are ready for a fight. Bit of an odd pairing here as this submission match gets underway. What do you mean odd? Oh, Drew Gulak has a proven track record of helping superstars be the best version of themselves, and I heard this is his latest project. Apparently, Coach Gulak has tasked his student with working on his submission game tonight. Let's see how it goes. Devastating kick. Hits him with the counter. A series of reversals. Samoan drop, Byron. Quiet drop. This match grinded him down a little. A submission match is all about wear and tear, Cole. He'll do well to remember that moving forward. Just one step ahead. A sequence of reversals there. This has got to be it. Now trampling the opposition. Cesaro anticipated that one. He must have seen that coming. Following moonsault. Wow. A ferocious attack against Cesaro here. Cesaro's gonna have to endure this punishment. Ah, Cesaro able to reverse that. Saw that one coming. These two showing how well scouted they each are. Steiner. Well placed kick. Nice win in the submission match last week. But when I was out there, I noticed you rely on reversals way too much. That's a hole in your game I didn't even know existed. You're turning out to be a bigger project than I thought. You're not giving up on me, are you? No, never. It's just going to take more work than anticipated. First, let's nip this reversal issue in the bud. In your next match, you're not allowed to use any reversals. Got it? Yep, and no shortcuts, because if you take shortcuts, you get cut short. There just might be hope for you after all. Here comes Trump. And here we have a superstar with a big chip on his shoulder. He has certainly felt overlooked recently. Well, he has a chance to change that perception in this matchup. 
And taking him on is a luchador that throws caution to the wind. The high risk, high reward in the leaks. But don't look at Lindsay as one dimensional. He's really built with a multi tool offense. Yeah, Lindsay Dorado continues to mature inside the ring and out of it. I just heard he learned how to use the litter box. Solid connection. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Oh, what a kick. Oh, what a kick. Ooh, stinky kick. He may be in a bad way here. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. Crank in the head. Ooh, kick finds it. Strikes with a kick. Incredible match we are witnessing. Setting Dorado up. The STL. Serious jeopardy for Lindsay. And that'll about do it, folks. Here is your winner, Sub Zero. You're progressing nicely with your training, but we still have more to fix. Okay. What's next, coach? We've talked a lot about shortcuts, and one of the ultimate shortcuts in sports entertainment is top rope maneuvers. You might remember my presentations on the risks these moves involve and my support of the no-fly zone. Of course. How could I forget the NFZ? Abbreviations are verbal shortcuts. Oh, right. Sorry. So your next match will be contested under no fly zone rules for both you and your opponent. Let's see if your ground game can This is gonna be Unique matchup here tonight being contested under no fly zone rules. Trust the process, Cole. Drew Gulak is making his pupil into a streamlined fighting machine. We've seen Gulak out here for several weeks now with his so-called student, but is his coaching really making a difference? The jury's still out. He goes for the quick pin, gets his shoulder up right before two. Optimistic thinking on that pin attempt. Able to reverse that one. And down with the suplex. Producing a trampoline. He gets out of the way. Ooh, bullseye. Just sending a message there. Apollo Crews a little out of his element here. Cruz escapes the attack. <laughs> Big boot. Mistake made by Cruz. Stop in every single part of his body. Dodge, what a cue. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. I have some bad news. 
You failed the Dragulak training program. What do you mean? I did everything you told me to do. I passed all your tests. Sorry, you just don't have what it takes. There were too many holes to fix and not enough time. I'll need to look elsewhere for a partner. No, I will not accept this. I'm light years better than I was when we started training together, and you know it. Okay, okay. You passed your final test. Good job. Huh? Your last weakness was perseverance, but you just refused to accept failure. You're now truly ready to be my partner. Congratulations. I'm proud of you. Thanks. All right. Now that the easy part is over, let's get to work. We have our first match teaming together next week. If you apply everything you learned, we'll be holding Tag Team Gold in no time. Go celebrate for a few minutes, then we'll start breaking down film on our opponents. This is going to be fun. They're here! Apparently we're looking at the newest graduate of the Drew Gulak training program as the student and teacher team up for the first time here tonight. Gulak's molded his partner in his image and the two now seem poised to go after tag team gold. Tough first match here tonight, though, as they take on two opponents who are out for revenge in Riddle and Apollo Crews. Reversal on top of reversal. teammate in right now. Not that he can't fend for himself right now. Breakup. 
just in the nick of time. He's ejected from the ring. Crushing knee strike. Anticipating Riddle. And he'll come back from under the apron. Boom, what impact! the first and last time we'll see these two team up. Unbelievable. Drew, you trained with your partner for weeks and finally teamed together tonight for the first time, but then, for some reason, you attacked him after the match. Can you explain why? I'd be happy to. You see, when we were training together, everything was so easy for him, okay? No matter what test or challenge I threw at him, he passed with flying colors. And the whole time he had this attitude about it, almost like he was doing me the favor instead of the other way around. And then, when we finally teamed together, he just had to get the win, right? It was his way of trying to one-up me, because he thinks he's so great. Well, I've got news for him. He's not, and I'll prove it. Because he thought he passed all the tests? Well, he didn't. I'm the final test. And this time, he's going to fail. So, you're challenging him to a match? Yes, but not just any match. I want to see if he actually learned anything. So I'm proposing a match with no shortcuts allowed, which means no running, no escaping the ring, and no top rope moves. Now we'll find out who's got holes in their game and who doesn't. Drew Gulak's partnership abruptly came to an end last week when he turned on his former student. Now they face each other in a matchup with some unusual stipulations. That's right, Michael. Gulak said there'd be no shortcuts allowed, which means no running, no escape from the ring, and no top rope moves. Kind of stacking the deck in his favor, if you ask me. Those are all legitimate rules, and now let's find out if his former student actually learned anything. We know Gulak failed to fix his poor attitude. Behind, right to the left knee. He manages to escape it. Dropped with a suplex. He's getting a little better now. Gulak saves himself. German suplex. But that's not all. And a kick. Able to elude it. Oh, reversal catches Gulak. Counter after counter. Back and forth from these competitors. Drew Gulak with the Irish whip on his former student. Wait, was that legal in this match? He tripped over the ropes. And with the referee down, Gulak is showing you exactly the kind of man he is breaking the rules that he proposed. Yeah, he's showing you that he's intelligent and an opportunist. The no-fly zone has been temporarily lifted. Leaving the ring, another rule violation. And now into the steel steps. Drew Gulak is completely taking advantage of this situation. He has no integrity. This is ridiculous. And of course, just as the referee recovers, Gulak initiates a side headlock. What's wrong with that? It's perfectly legal. Yeah, after he broke three other rules. You guys are nerds. This match is brutality starting to show on him. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. Arms trapped. Endless knee strikes. 
And the momentum's clearly against Gulak now. Gulak has to start trusting his instincts at this point. Stop it. Ouch. Hit the mark with that one. Oh, perfect kick. Kick lands. Reversal from Gulak. And that might be the start of the momentum swing Gulak needed. Yeah, Gulak able to stop that search dead in its tracks. I know you and I have mostly been doing our own thing on SmackDown, but I think it's time for that to change. Why is that? Because we have a special bond from training together at the PC. Even though we weren't always on the same page, that bond is still there. It means something. Just tell me what you want. What I want is the Intercontinental Championship. And I want you to help me get it. I already have my old buddy Nakamura here, and there's power in numbers, if you'll join us. Okay, I'm willing to give this a shot. What's your plan? I've already had a couple matches, but he's always found a way to escape with his championship. So with our help, you're going to beat him, then give me a title match. Deal? So how about tonight I get his attention? He has a match scheduled, but I'll make sure he never makes it to the ring. I like it. See? I have a feeling this is going to work out just fine. What's happening here? He's ambushing Big E. That's what's happening. He's not even scheduled to face Big E tonight. Somebody needs to get out here and put an end to this. Mystery partner's been revealed to be none other than WWE legend Shawn Michaels. Big E promised a big surprise to his tag team partner here tonight, and he certainly delivered. Wow! Oh God, Jay Pierce and his cronies were expecting an advantage tonight, but they can kiss that goodbye now. Oh God, that looked devastating. Producing a trampoline. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Oh. Able to parry that one. DDT! Ooh, sharp kick. He's taking some good hits. Looks like the heightened action of his handicap match has caught up with him a little. Connected on that. Both wrists captured and a oh, vicious knee to the face. Big E has lost any momentum here. Yeah, Big E needs to find that spark. Kick lands. Oh, kick connects. Strikes with a kick. Ooh. 
Solid connection. Oh, yeah, I like this guy. Intro. After an explosive handicap match last week, Intercontinental Champion Big E defends his title against a hungry superstar looking for his first IC championship. Big E's opponent is stepping into the spotlight, but you have to wonder how much of an impact Paragon J. Pierce and Shinsuke Nakamura will have on this match. Whether they get involved or not, I think the odds are against Big E walking away with his championship. As expected, Shinsuke Nakamura is here to help the challenger take down Big E. How much more one-sided can this match get? Oh no, I think we're gonna see the electric chair. Yeah. Nope. Rolling elbow right on the mark. Both wrists captured. And, oh, the champ now absorbing a little damage. He planned for this and could still rally. Just like that, Big E finds a counter. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. Really just laying it in. Wrists captured it. Oh, that was nasty. And a kick. Slips out of the way. He manages to escape it. He's been placed in the corner now. Good timing with that reversal. What's it gonna take to keep this guy down? Here it comes! The STL! Gonna see a new champ! With the help of his running mates, Paragon J. Harrison, Shinsuke and Nakamura, we have a new Intercontinental Champion. I think Big E might have gotten in over his head taken on this new group. He was able to fend off Paragon for a while, but this was just too much tonight. I'd like to see how Big E does in a fair one-on-one -on -one match with no outside involvement. Then we'll talk.
the following count. Yeah, now we're talking. It's it's you can call the new Intercontinental Champion all kinds of names, but you can't say he's not a man of his word after granting Paragon J. Pierce a shot at his title tonight. What a heartwarming display of friendship and decency, especially after the champion's totally honorable win against Big E. I'm detecting a hint of sarcasm, Byron. Just a hint. Lift off. Crash landing. Bang. Talk about rocking the jar. Record. Oh, run. The stomp in every single part of his body. Uh, ducking out of trouble. Great reversal. The suplex. Oh, stomp it away. Hit the ropes. It's the former Intercontinental Champion, Big E. Big E said this wasn't over, and I guess he meant it. He's in the ring. Turn around, Paragon. Champion into the cover. One. Kick out at one for the challenger. Showing his determination there with that kick out. <laughs> Great counter impressive ring IQ on display there. Ooh, forearm connects. the challenger. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Evades the attack. Sequence of reversals there. Both wrists captured. The WWE Get The Intercontinental Championship One of the most prestigious titles In all of sports entertainment Here we go as the Intercontinental Champion Defends his controversial title In a fatal four-way against Paragon J. Pierce, Shinsuke Nakamura And a very Feels more like a three-on-one handicap match to me. You can't fault the champ for taking our GM up on his offer, can you? That's just being smart, Saxton. Look it up. Oh, 
jarring back elbow. Oof. Hooked up, it looks like for a belly to belly. Belly to belly, oh no. Oh my goodness. Challengers a little worse for wear now. Little hit up in the road, but that's to be expected with a match like this. Well, thank you. Nakamura is so elusive. Look away, counter. Jacob suplex, release. Uh-oh. Suplex, lights up.
and now we're talking. The road to the King of the Ring crown begins tonight with Dominic Mysterio facing off against a hungry SmackDown superstar looking to make a serious run at the throne. Dominic has been called one of WWE's most promising young princes. But his opponent will be looking to make sure that's as royal as Ray's son gets. Fails to connect on the springboard. Hit the mark with that one. He's returning fire. Climbing up top, he's got big friends. Up high. Slam down. Stomping down. Ooh, stinging kick. Counter. And now there's an opening. Uh-oh. Oh, my God, what a move. Both wrists captured. And that was nasty. Sidestep by Dominic. Kick right to the back of the leg. And that failed to hit the mark. Boom! Did you hear the impact? Yeah. Able to sidestep it. Yeah. Looking to hurt him. Oh, what a shoulder breaker. He got whipped into that corner. He catches Dominic with a counter. This guy is the real deal. The King of the Ring tournament kicks off with two remarkable superstars looking to officially begin the long climb to the WWE throne. It might only be a first round match, but both of these superstars know just how much a King of the Ring crown could change their careers forever. And one loss could derail that entire quest. No pressure. Ooh, harsh kick. He's been taken hold of. Face Buster. Wow, springboard attack. Oh, foot just stomping down. He fends off the attack. Oh, Apollo's in for it. to the gut. Double under heart. That gets reversed on Apollo. Here he comes. Welcome to the semifinals of one of the most iconic tournaments in all of sports entertainment, the King of the Ring. We have Riddle taking on a superstar who's starting to pick up some real momentum. That's right, Michael, and momentum's the name of the game in a tournament like this. Especially when the semifinals and finals are scheduled to happen the same night. It's anyone's crown at this point. 
Stomping. Ouch. And that one misses the mark. Oh, what a roundhouse kick. They would give him the slip. Ouch. Boom on the jaw. Both wrists captured it. Saw it coming. And he had Riddle scouted. Nice evasion by Riddle. Down on the neck with reckless abandon. Check this out. Just deadlifted up into a power bomb. And the exclamation point. He was elusive there. Hits the drop kick. And Riddle in a state of woe. And Riddle needs to fight back. Boy, what a kick. Oh! oh man, a little extra luster behind that kick. I know you just won your match, so I'm not sure if you've heard the latest on Big E and Paragon. What's going on? Well, after Big E beat Paragon, they got into a fight backstage, and E was injured. He can't compete tonight or anytime soon. Okay, so just make me king. That's not an option. I do have another plan, though, but you're not gonna like it. Are you giving the spot to Paragon? No, that wouldn't be fair. I have someone else in mind. Someone who's a future Hall of Famer, but has never been King of the Ring? The Viper, Randy Orton. What? I've been competing in this tournament since the beginning, and already wrestled tonight, and Orton gets to just step in fresh and face me? And you want to talk about fair? Hey, I said you weren't going to like it, but my job is to make sure this tournament ends in the ring. If I were you, I'd go get all the rest you can. And here comes one of my favorites. The Apex Predator has arrived. One of the all-time greats has seen and done everything there is to do in this business. And his opponent, representing R.K. Bro from St. Louis, Missouri. Weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton! Think of all the legendary factions that Randy Orton has been a part of. All steps in his career greatness. Now he learned from the best, but at a very early age, Randy proved he can go it alone. Yeah, we learned very quickly that Randy Orton was the student who was able to surpass the Masters. And in the process, Randy Orton has become a master in his own right. One of the most vindictive, one of the most vengeful, and one of the most dangerous superstars you will ever see. That's why I love everything about this guy, Saxton. And Randy Orton's methodical pursuit of self-serving goals is synonymous with his personality. A superstar who always gets what he wants. My sources tell me that Randy Orton wants you to go home, Saxton. Well, Randy's ready to consume more prey here tonight. You might want to take Corey's advice, Sax man. What a dramatic turn of events. A fresh Randy Orton is in the King of the Ring finals.
facing a superstar coming off a brutal semifinal match earlier tonight against Will. I think it's fair to say nobody saw this coming. I'll tell you who definitely didn't see it coming. Randy Orton's opponent. No, and he can't like it either. Orton's one of the most decorated superstars in WWE history, but he's never been king of the ring. I think that changes tonight. Stomping down! The Viper shows his instinct. Back and forth from these competitors. If this lands, it might be all over. So I drive. Able to avoid there. Whoa, not quite yet. DDT plants then. Good night. What a stunner. Just sending a message there. wasn't his night. Without a doubt, this is a career-defining moment for this superstar. All hail the new king. Hey, did you hear about Jimmy Uso's injury? Yeah, I did. Feel bad for the guy. Now his wife Naomi needs a new partner in the Mixed Match Challenge Tournament. As a reminder, the winners get to be co-GMs of SmackDown for one night. So are you interested in taking his place? GM for the night? <laughs> yeah, I'm in. All right, I'll make it official. And you should probably go talk to your new partner when you get a chance. What's up, new partner? <laughs> so you heard, huh? Yep. I was pretty bummed when Jimmy went down, but we can still make the best out of a bad situation. Where are we at in the standings? I haven't been following the Mixed Match Challenge too closely. Seriously? Come on, man. There's no time to play catch up. The playoffs are about to start and we gotta face Miz and Maurice. Okay, okay, I got it. You better not screw this up for me. I have big plans for when I'm GM for the night. I wanna be GM too, so don't worry. I'll hold up my end of the deal. Now this, it... Welcome to the playoff round of the Mixed Match Challenge as Naomi and her replacement partner take on the end couple, Miz and Maurice. Difficult task to step in and team together for the first time at this stage, let alone against opponents who know each other so well. Uh, yeah, Miz and Maurice are married, Saxton, so I'd say they know each other very well. It's gonna be an uphill battle to defeat them in advance. Top rope, putting it all on the line. Uh-oh. Oh my God, what a move. I mean, he's looking a little startled right now. What makes a great tag partner, Cole, is knowing when to tag. We'll find out soon enough if he's even a good tag partner. Hanging back with their own count. Hooked up, and DDT. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Contact. 
there. Ooh, well measured. Miz gets out of the way. He tags out, so now the women are going to go one on one. A slap. Naomi out of harm's way. Get back here. Leg Larian. And that holds Maurice back. She tags out, so now it's the men one on one. Absolutely spiked DDT. Miz counters with an attack. Targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. Hits him with the counter. Stunner. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Oh, that was close. This match continues. Into the cover. Oh. Shoulders up before two. Wow, I thought this was over. into the corner. Oh, it's coming! <laughs> Double super kick! The Miz just got destroyed! Cover! One, two! She gets the shoulder up. Obviously still has some fight left. Maurice is out of the way. That kick will stop me in your tracks. I had that well scouted. Beautiful Philly backbreaker. Face buster. Ooh, she just turned it around. She's on unsteady legs in the corner. Needs to recover. Double team DDT style. Cover. One, two, three. Finally got him. I can't believe this match is finally over. Here are your winners. She's taking. Look. It's. As this semifinal match gets underway, I'm still somewhat surprised to see Naomi and her replacement partner have advanced this far. They've won one match, Cole. I think their luck ends tonight against Josie Jane and Paragon J. Pierce. Well, I know Jimmy Uso is home pulling for the underdogs, and hey, so am I. A Cinderella run like this is what makes tournaments so great. Targeting the arm to great effect. Headed to the top now. Taking flight. Oh, misses the mark. He skirts around it. Overhand right lands. Suplex. He's absorbed some damage already. Right now he's thinking one of two things, Cole. I need to get out of here, or I'm going to answer this call and pay him back. And the exclamation point. <laughs> Saw that coming. Oh my God, that's got to hurt. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Up. 
If this lands, it might be all over. Samoa Driver. And Pierce is now in a demoralizing spot. Can Pierce recover from this adversity? Oh, kick connects. Oh, what a mental strike. These women have been chopping at the bit, and now they're about to throw down. Into the corner now. One, two. Series of kicks in the corner. Quick thinking pays off. Hooked up. Nothing fancy there. Spin your nuggy. Real place kick. That was the kidneys. Right to the spine. Measured kick to the vertebrae. Making that shoulder a priority. Here showcasing his strength. Pierce is determined right now. Boom, three. Plenty of hits coming her way now. Can you believe this? The final match of the Mixed Match Challenge has arrived where Naomi and her partner face a formidable challenge against Asuka and Shinsuke Nakamura. They've been underdogs the entire playoffs and managed to advance this far. I wouldn't count them out here tonight either. I will. No disrespect to the teams they beat to get to the finals, but Asuka and Nakamura are on a whole different level. When this is over, the Empress of Tomorrow and the King of Strong Style will be walking away as co-general managers of SmackDown. And now there's an opening. Oh, look at the impact here. Boom! Boom! Pummeling the chest of their opponent. 
This is brutal. My goodness. Oh, boy, he's stalking him, watching for an opening. He's trying to intimidate his opponent one more time, but he's got to strike soon. Two. Absolutely planted, producing a trampling. Uh, running knee left. Scouting pays off against Nakamura. Ooh, can't find it. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. me, I think her opponent wanted a break, too. Drop kick. Beautiful. Treating the torso to yet another attack. Oh, look at the kick right to the midsection. Oh, a series of kicks in the corner. team after Jimmy Uso was injured, but gelled enough to cruise through the playoffs and take tonight's final. Let's not forget what's really important here. The winners of the Mixed Match Challenge get to be GMs of SmackDown for one night. That's quite the reward, assuming it's put to good use. I have no doubt they'll do just that. Congrats again to the winning pair. Well, technically, I did it. Seriously? <laughs> Relax, I'm kidding. We did this as a team. Yeah, we may have been a last minute thrown together pairing, but it worked out okay. So as GM of SmackDown, I know I'm gonna give myself a universal title match against Roman Reigns. But what are you gonna do? Have a glow in the dark match or something? Funny, no. I'm gonna get my SmackDown women's title back. It's been too long since I've held gold. So thanks for helping me make it possible. And good luck against Roman. He's family, but I won't be mad if you're able to beat him. So this is it then, huh? Nah, I'll be seeing you around. Thanks again. I'm gonna go call Jimmy. The following cup. One of the best superstars around. The head of the table, the tribal chief, protecting his Samoan family legacy on top of the food chain. A main eventer since day one, but now the tribal chief is tougher than ever. In 
Here we go with this Universal Championship match as the champion Roman Reigns defends against the SmackDown GM for the night. Making this match was a given for the victor of the Mixed Match Challenge, but winning it will be a whole different situation. Yeah, I'm sure the head of the table wasn't too thrilled to have to defend his championship under these circumstances. A frustration he's likely to take out on the challenger. Reigns averts the attack. Back and forth from these competitors. to avoid there. The champ getting put on the back foot here. Yeah, but he's not breathing heavy yet. Great job refocusing to reverse that. Each competitor is showing they've done their homework. And now the challenger looks to take control of Roman Reigns in this Universal Championship match. Yeah, a match he made himself. Really earned it. Wait a second. That's Jimmy Uso. He's been out for weeks with an injury. I'm guessing he's not here to congratulate his wife's replacement partner on winning the Mixed Match Challenge. If things had gone differently, this could have been Uso's championship opportunity tonight. Look out. Roman Reigns. Superman punch. It's all over. Roman Reigns has managed to hold on to his Universal Championship. Yeah, with a major assist from his cousin. SmackDown's GM for the night had everything lined up perfectly, but it all changed in an instant due to the returning Jimmy Uso. No matter what kind of temporary authority he has, it wasn't enough to survive a distraction and a Superman punch. I'm sure both of these men are going to have a lot to discuss with each other and Naomi. And here comes one of them. This match is underway as Jimmy Uso looks to get even with his wife Naomi's partner from the next match challenge. Yeah, Uso believes he did all the work to help get to the playoffs, and his opponents didn't reap the rewards. Uso is out hurt. What was his wife Naomi supposed to do? Just drop out of the tournament? Seeing her replacement partner made the best out of a bad situation. Nonetheless, Jimmy Uso didn't see it that way and cost his opponent a Universal Championship match. Now they look to settle their differences here tonight. Strikes with a kick. Ah, trampling the opposition. Ah, perfect kick. Up the turnbuckles. What's he going to do? Lift off. the axe handle. Jimmy's looking helpless to every attack. Yeah, Jimmy keeps getting cut down at every move. Reversal on top of reversal. Ah. On the run. And the shoulders down. And that's all she wrote.
Welcome to the road to Money in the Bank. Baron Corbin will be looking to take out his anger management problems on a superstar that's come a long way in WWE. But still has a lot to prove if he wants to stand tall over the rest of the roster. It's my favorite time of year, Cole. Briefcase season. Corbin's a battle-tested superstar that knows how to win when it counts. So his opponent's going to have his work cut out for him if he wants to qualify tonight. Really just laying it in. No need to panic, he's still swinging. Connects on the kick. Double axe handle. And a knee stop. That'll ruin your leg. And Corbin can't find a way off the blocks. Corbin needs to better assess the situation to turn this around. He turns it around on Corbin. Prime opportunity now for him to get some separation and gather himself. And if you want to see who can play well with others, put them in a tag match. It's true. Teamwork needs to be on point to win one of these. You know, I always think of us as a three-man team. Oh, shut up, Saxton. I'd switch sides just to pin you. Something in the corner. Oh, man. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Yeah, things are starting to really get out of hand. I'd switch up the strategy. Close line. What impact. Yeah. Reversal on Lashley. We are about to... Get... inside the ring tonight, especially after that six-man tag team masterpiece on SmackDown. For once, Saxton, you're right, because I have absolutely no clue as to who's helping who. Everybody's a legitimate threat to grab the briefcase. Right the map, relentless. He's looking to get up that ladder, guys. The wrong way. Reaching out. 
looking to get the win. It is all or nothing at this point. It, but if it works, it works. To the outside. This could get wild. Ali up and down. Russian leg sweep. Uh oh. Carefully measured. They don't look now that that ladder is lined up perfectly. Shot top. He 
He's heading back to the ring. Pierce is stumbling into the line of fire. He's ejected from the ring. Rich McGraw looking to end this. Oh, Derek! And Pierce is out. Oh, another blow to the chest. Looks like that ladder set up perfectly in the center of the ring. This opportunity is his for the taking. Looks to have a good grasp, but it's just not coming down. Oh, this has got to be frustrating. After what was an exhausting match, we have a new Money in the Bank briefcase winner. Walking away with that briefcase is never an easy task, especially considering some of the men he had to outlast tonight to get it. Now the real questions start. How and when will he decide to cash it in? I'm sure our Universal Champion Roman Reigns will be eager to find out. If that match does occur, I can't wait to see it. It's only been a couple of hours since I won this briefcase, and I've already gotten a lot of questions. When are you going to cash it in? What championship are you going to go for? Will it be a surprise? So. I'm going to cut to the chase and give you all the answers. Since day one, I wanted a shot at Roman Reigns and his Universal Championship. And now that I have this, I can make that a reality. So Roman, I'm not going to hold on to this for a long time or try to cash in when you're not expecting it. I'm challenging you to face me in the ring on SmackDown for your Universal Championship. I'll be waiting for your answer. title from the biggest name in the game, Roman Reigns. Boom! <laughs> oh, stomping away. Oh, right in there. With the counter. Connected on that. The big dog had that scouted. Counter after counter. Did you hear that chop? Jumping knee strike. I like that. Some hard offense landing on the champ. Yeah, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Reigns had that scouted. Reigns is going to look to press on the advantage. Yeah, Roman was able to momentarily stop the bleeding, but can he take control of this match? Reigns is getting dismantled here. Roman's being picked apart. from last year's event. Owens nails the current briefcase holder with his briefcase. What the heck is happening? I think he's cashing in. We're going to have a triple threat match. But two Money in the Bank briefcases? How is this legal? Stunner. One, two, three. Kevin Owens is shot. The WWE Universe has stolen the Universe 
Universal Championship. He didn't steal anything. He just outsmarted everyone in the arena. Well, it certainly looks like Roman Reigns feels like his championship was stolen. Yeah, and the challenger probably feels the same way. He had hit his finisher on Reigns and was moments away from becoming champion himself. None of that matters now. What's important is we have a new Universal Champion, and that man's name is Kevin Owens. You want to explain what the hell you're going to do about all this? Look, I get you're upset, but unfortunately, what KO did was technically legal. I thought you only had a year to cash in. I had the new briefcase. Clearly, it was over a year. I know, and normally that is true, but KO was injured for a while and was able to use that time to extend his cash-in window past the one-year mark. We're going to tie up that loophole for the future, but it's too late to change what KO did. So you're not going to do anything to fix this? My universal title shot is just gone. Not necessarily. To make this up to you, I'm putting you in a rematch against Roman Reigns. Whoever wins will face Kevin Owens for the Universal Championship. That work? Sounds like I don't have a choice. So I guess it will have to. Here he come. Buckle up because we're about to witness one of the most controversial rematches in WWE history. A showdown. We'll find out who will face Kevin Owens for his Universal Championship. Between former Universal Champion Roman Reigns and the man that came within inches of Roman's title. Uh, neither man is happy about this outcome. KO should be ashamed of himself for his disgraceful cash-in with last year's briefcase. Oh, spare us, Saxton. KO is well. Look out! Cody foot stomp to the chest. My, oh my, what elevation. Took a gamble once, took a gamble again, and hit the jackpot twice. Just putting their body in danger time and time again. What a counter! <laughs> That's gonna sting. Referee in position. Two count. He kicks out before three. Letting it get down to the wire a little early. What a reversal by Reigns. That's so how you dominate your opponent. Gentlemen, I think... This superstar is coming in with a lot of enthusiasm and energy right now. But what's gonna happen when the excitement wears off and he comes to realize he's in a fight against someone who's gonna take his head off? All I can say is we've seen adrenaline take this superstar very far in the past. And across the Here we go. KO is apparently gonna do some advanced scouting of his opponent.
Where is he? Is Owen just playing mind games? <laughs> Looking wobbly. Oh, no doubt, Sammy just ended this. Cover. Oh, kick out. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. Kick out at one? Unbelievable. More like inhuman. Listen, that should have ended things. And look at his face. At this point, you have to believe he's losing some faith in himself. This is what you call high risk, high. Taking flight. Retaliates and misses on the springboard. Counters. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. He was waiting for him to make his move. Was ready for that. Sammy's not ready for this. Sammy's ring prowess couldn't get him out of trouble there. Using the ropes. Oh, and a springboard roundhouse. Good night. What a stunner. Sammy isn't going to like what's about to come his way. WWE Universe, the wait is over. Kevin Owens is about to defend his controversial Universal Championship against a gritty challenger that's been climbing toward this moment since the Money in the Bank ladder match. No more briefcases, no more mind games. Just two tough as nail superstars who are willing to do anything to be the top dog in WWE. You have to wonder, does Owens have any more tricks up his sleeve? And if he does, does his opponent finally have an answer? Ooh, a flurry of brutality. Both wrists captured. And... Clearly waiting for that. Hold on, it's Roman Reigns. Of course we can't get through this match without controversy. It's par for the course with these three. Wait, the Tribal Chief is in the ring. Champ taking the worst end of the exchange. It's nothing he hasn't been through before. Stopping down. Oh, oh what a kick. Oh. That's a no-good drive. 
Ooh, stinging kick. Great escape by Owens. DDT. Just a step ahead of Owens. Just sending a message there. Uh-oh, uh-oh. A long way up. that Roman Reigns played a role in all this and was still never pinned for that title. I have a feeling this is far from settled. And this tag team match is sure to be filled with exciting action. These teams want the win bad tonight, and they'll fight hard to get it. Yeah, these superstars look like they're all business, not a weak link among them. This is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I think he was just looking to soften him up a little here. Oh, just turn that around. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. It's an Oku driver. Looks like he has other plans here. Producing a trampoline and a kick. He may be in a bad way here. And yeah, it's about time to heavily consider tagging in that partner. Stunner. And there's the tag. Roman Reigns into the ring. Looking for a little bit of high risk here, it seems. And Sammy dodges that one. It's a knocking driver, wow! Shot to the back of the neck. And Sammy is countered. Oh, man! Oh, God! That looked devastating. Tag. Reigns had that scouted. He deflects it right back. Kick to the gut. Ooh, brutal form. From the middle. in the corner now. Wow, oh, this is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he let him out right there.
Sami Zayn. I can't wait to see them finally settle their issues over the Universal Championship alongside KO in that huge triple threat match. It looks like they might get started early right now. And the Tribal Chief just brushed aside the Universal Champion. We'll see if that lack of respect serves to motivate the champ. This is always a match with enormous implications for the landscape of the entire WWE. This capacity crowd is waiting with bated breath. The Universal Championship, it doesn't get bigger than this. After months of shocking twists and turns, the Universal Championship will finally be decided once and for all in a triple threat championship match that will have reverberations throughout the WWE Universe. The defending Universal Champion comes into this match fueled by what he saw as an act of disrespect by the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns. Roman was trying to get into the champ's head before one of the biggest matches of his career, and it clearly worked. Will it be enough to have an impact on who walks away champion? We're about to find out. Able to evade. Spiked. Let him have this moment. He's earned it. Ripcorn. The challenger eating up some damage. Double the opponents means double the danger. He better have a plan. Getting tossed. Oh, look at that torch of their opponent. Samoan drop, Byron. Oh, no, it's the Hawaiian drop. Oh. Drop kick finds the spot. Oh, stomping away. Both wrists captured it. KO avoids the attack. And a kick to the back. Oh, he right to the face. Owens at the mercy of his opponent. Owens just can't find any breathing room. Finding the 
with the WWE Universe right now. That's teamwork. With a championship on the line. Now a pin for the championship. about our champion, but he just answered every one of them. I know I was one of those who had doubts, but this performance was truly impressive. saw your little back and forth with Edge on social media, and it gave me an idea. I think the two of you would have an amazing match. So if you can defeat Sheamus tonight, then your next Universal Championship defense will be against Edge. So your buddy just posts that he wants a Universal title match, and boom, he gets one. <laughs> I know you helped train Edge for his comeback, and in return he got you the GM job, but I didn't realize that meant you had to do whatever he wanted whenever he asked. Funny, I had it all wrong. I guess he's your daddy. Look, as far as Edge goes, it's no secret that we've helped each other out. But this has nothing to do with that. He's earned this opportunity, and like I said, I think it'd be a great match. Okay, keep telling yourself all that to justify what you're doing. If I were you, I'd focus on taking care of Seamus first, or none of this will even matter. Don't worry, I'll handle my business with Seamus and you'll get your little dream match. Then, I'll beat your BFF too. I've been looking forward to this. Introducing the... The Universal Champion has his hands full tonight with a title defense against the hungry Sheamus, who's looking to prove himself against WWE's top dog. It's a heck of a matchup between two superstars at the peak of their game. But it feels like there's been more talk about our GM's meddling than the actual match. Too much talk, if you ask me. And I think the Celtic Warrior would agree. That's why it's time for everyone to strap on their big boy boots and settle this thing in the ring. The challenger's looking shaken. Taking on some offense, but he expected as much. Headed to the top row. in time. What a crossbody. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Getting sucked. Kick lands. And a kick. Now the arm's trapped. Oh, a slam. is counter. The champion into the cover. One, two. Is this enough? No, it isn't. He kicked out. He kicked out. So close. So close. Sheamus left an opening. Yes, to a championship level move. And the champ adds to their legacy. Here is your winner. And still.
took care of Sheamus like I said I would. And now your boy has his title match. Happy? Actually, I am. Like I said, I think it's going to be a great match and something the SmackDown audience will really enjoy. Yeah, definitely. This has nothing to do with the fact that you wouldn't have your job if it wasn't for Edge. I mean, what else would you do if he asked? You might as well just cut out the middleman and make Edge GM. He's already calling all the shots. I'll say it one more time. This is about giving the WWE Universe the best available match. Nothing else. Don't push me on this. Okay, if that's what it's all about, then why make the WWE Universe wait to see me face Edge? We should just give it to them tonight, right? Because that would be yet another totally fair and unbiased decision for you to make. You know what? Finally, I agree with you. Go get some rest, because you're going to defend your Universal title again tonight against Edge. Are you serious? I was just trying to make a point. And I just made mine. I told you not to push me on this, but you didn't listen. Now go get ready for your match. The following contest is scheduled. This guy is ready. For it. Well, that escalated quickly. It's time for our second Universal Championship match of the night. The Universal Champion will defend his title again against Edge. Yeah. Sent hard to the outside. This superstar picking up speed. Wrecking ball drop kick through the ropes. Just a devil may care attitude on full display. Going for broke and it pays off. The champ looking worn out. The hits have come fast and hard tonight. You can tell some real damage has been done already. Three. Reversal. Can he take advantage? Now well, that'll do some serious damage. Just stomping down. Edge gets out of the way. <laughs> Drop right across the neck. Oh. Just one step ahead. The Universal Champion and Edge are going back and forth here in this huge title match. The referee goes down. And now Edge has taken out two. The Universal Champion is known for bending the rules. Will he take advantage? There's your answer. He's competed twice tonight. He's just evening up the odds. And it's our GM, Adam Pierce. Of course, he's out here to help his friend Edge. That's the only reason Edge got this opportunity in the first place. He's just trying to restore some order to the match. Wait a second. Spear. Edge nails the champion with the spear. The referee's still down. Adam Pierce is going to count the pin. He did it. Overcoming adversity yet again. Edge is the new Universal Champion. Unbelievable. Let's not gloss over the real story here. The general manager of SmackDown just abused his power to help his friends steal the Universal Championship. I'm not so sure about that, but I will admit this victory did occur with some level of controversy. If I know our now former champion like I think I do, he's not going to sit back and accept this without putting up a fight. Look, I could just approach this like some kind of farewell tour. A chance to show my girls what their dad looks like with a championship around his waist. A chance to stroke my own ego one more time. And a chance to remind all of you of a different era when this sort of thing was typical. Almost expected. But I'm here to say that's exactly not what I'm going to do. 
I've heard all the critics, like the former champion himself, that I was handed this Universal Championship. That somehow, because of my friendship with the GM, that I got special treatment, and this was basically gifted to me. So with that in mind, I'm going to do everything in my power, even if it ends up costing me this very title to prove the critics wrong. I'm going to be a fighting champion and earn everything I get. I'm going to do that by issuing an open challenge to anyone in that locker room to face me for this championship. And the open challenge begins right now. So who's ready to come out and face me? Come on, let's see what this locker room is made of. What's going on here? That's what's going on. The former Universal Champion appears to have cut to the front of the line. <laughs> Not what you were expecting, huh, Edge? Well, I wasn't expecting to lose my Universal Championship after your BFF here conspired to have me compete twice in one night, interfered in the match, and then pretended to be a referee and illegally counted the pin, basically handing you the title himself. But special treatment is the only kind of treatment you've received since you came back to WWE, isn't it? I don't know what you're doing, but leave Adam out of this. No, you don't get to talk now. This is my time. Like I was saying, the special treatment started when you just waltzed into the Royal Rumble after being gone for eight years. No qualifying match needed. Then there were the WrestleMania matches, the WWE Network specials, all the TV time you took from superstars like myself. But worst of all, you were so insecure that you couldn't hang with today's generation that you had Adam Pierce hired as GM to give you the easiest possible path to success. And it worked! What do you want? I want to put an end to all of this. And I want my title back. So give me a rematch on my terms. Or I'll take out your buddy here. Well, worse than I already have. Fine, I'll take you on whenever and however you want. Just let him go. Smart decision. Now run back to your BFF. At least it looks like this is over with for now. Adam Pierce is way late with the chair. This is crossing the line. Here comes Edge. That just showed you exactly the type of person the former Universal Champion is. As soon as Edge was going to confront him face to face, he ran away as fast as he could. That might be true, but the damage was done. He got what he wanted here tonight. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. The champ looking out of sorts. 
Part of the territory when you're in an extreme rules match, Cole. Driving the face down. And Edge is coming under duress. Edge's defenses are being mowed down. His victory also means he's not going anywhere. In fact, I have a feeling he'll be dominating SmackDown for a very long time. As scary as that sounds, I think you're right, Corey. The SmackDown roster has officially been put on notice. This guy is the real deal. The following comes. And here we have a superstar with a big chip on his shoulder. He has certainly felt overlooked recently. Well, he has a chance to change that perception in this matchup. And he's facing off against Rey Mysterio, a competitor who is known to bring the fight with a lot of heart. You find out real quick that Ray is tough to keep down. Mysterio shows no fear and has a larger shadow than his stature would determine. But there are a lot of people in the locker room who want to be the one to say, I brought down the biggest little man in WWE. Uncorks a thunderous chop. Oh, side form. Producing a trampling stiff kick. A well aimed strike. Looking for a high-risk move. Mysterio with great evasion. Beats the modern. I think we know what's coming next. Samoan drop, Byron. Oh, no, it's the Hawaiian drop. Oh. 
That's got to be it. Two count. Three. And this one is over. Wait a second, you gotta be kidding me. Is this what I think it is? Well, we saw him invoke Eddie Guerrero's name on social media, and Rey Mysterio was not pleased, but this is way worse. Yeah, this must be what he meant when he said he was gonna visit the WWE archives. What a disgrace. And coming out here in Eddie's lowrider wasn't enough, now he's copying his mannerisms. This is pathetic. I know we're supposed to be impartial, but I hope Rey Mysterio, or anyone for that matter, makes him pay for this. Well, he's certainly gonna get under the skin of Mysterio even further than he already has. We'll have to see how that plays out. This could motivate Rey and completely backfire on him. Hey, I'm with Byron. I hope that's exactly what happens. I can't watch any more of this. Gentlemen, you are looking at a man who is sick of the doubters, sick of being questioned about his potential. And I can't disagree with him. I expect tonight to be a night where he can silence the skeptics and prove to be the future of this company. It will be a tall order, but the confidence he possesses could take him very far. But let's not overlook his competition, Chad Gable. This is a former Olympic athlete we're talking about. Gable devastates his opponents with his unmatched athletic ability and his cunning in-ring tactics. In fact, I've heard rumors that the guy can dribble a bowling ball. He's that talented. Well, I have to respect what Gable can do in the ring. Those tactics you mentioned are also callous. And the former Olympian Gable took a big hit there. He planned for this and could still rally. He steers clear of contact. Flipped upside down there. Unable to counter. Look at this, going counter for counter. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Did you hear that impact? Oh, what a shot. On the second row. Zaguri out of the corner. Good night. What a stunner. Cover. One, two, three. An emphatic victory. Here is your winner, Sub Zero. Scorpion. Smoke. Wrestle perhaps the perfect match. Never any doubt in this win. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamrolling. This man has done some vile things, but stealing Eddie Guerrero's low rider to taunt Rey Mysterio might just be the worst. Mysterio from behind! He's not gonna let him disrespect Eddie any further. This is a no disqualification match. Anything someone can dream up to do to their opponent is legal. Take the rules and throw them out the window. Well, this allows a superstar to pursue victory by any means necessary. And some experience a state of twisted ecstasy while punishing their adversary. We are witnessing an environment where competitors can embrace their anger and aggressive instincts because it's all legal. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you're done believing in fairy tales, Saxton. The hero doesn't always win. Sometimes you have to embrace the darkness. Oh my gosh, what impact! Ow! 
Oh, man. Saw it coming yeah. and got out of there. And he had Ray's number there. Ray saw that coming. Well-executed suplex. Oh! Sunset flip. Oh, whoa, nice. Mysterio with the sunset flip power bomb. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. He knows how to avoid contact. Drop kick. How did scouted? Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. And landing with the double axe handle. Mysterio ducks it right into the low rider. That'll hurt. Ray's setting up for something big. Bulldog off Eddie's car. He just hit hard on the pavement. We might need some help back here. It's Eddie Guerrero. Latino Heat gonna make him pay for everything he's done. What's going on here? It, it looks like we have a communication breakdown backstage, and oh my God, there they go! Oof, good contact. Oh no, and it's the Hawaiian drop! Oh, Dow oh, trampling the opposition. Oh, look at this! Oh, kicks! Oh man, good grief! Turn your lights out. An agile escape. Ooh! Oh, not to the belly! He eludes the contact. Oh, Ooh, what a knee lift. Somebody better check his nose. Turning the tables. Saw that one coming. Oh, down by the DDT. Oh. Ooh, a sharp kick. Able to give him the slip. Yeah. Yes, he didn't come here to watch him boast and taunt. <laughs> Guerrero with the brain buster. I don't know how much more he could take. <sighs> Guys, what's Eddie doing? He's on top of the ambulance. Guerrero with the frog splash. What a convincing statement made here tonight by Rey Mysterio. It was almost as if he was channeling his friend Eddie Guerrero in this fight. There was no way Ray was going to let this level of disrespect fly. Hopefully that's the last time we see Eddie or his load rider dragged into this.
Here we go, guys. Rey Mysterio's coming into this best two out of three falls match tonight. As fired up as I've ever seen him, Byron. Of course he is. Ray's opponent has been trying to low ride Eddie Guerrero's memory into the ground. And there is no way Ray would stand for that. Meanwhile, Ray's challenger looks like he's having trouble standing at all. Must have been that tough dose of reality he got from Mysterio last week. Well, he we better get it together fast before it's too late. Good defense. This is not good. You don't say, Saxton. He reverses it. Really just laying it in. Kick lands. Connects on the kick. Oh, kick connects. Ooh, stinky kick. Shoulder up now is huge. Mysterio defenseless here. The FTF, the FTF is locked in. Mysterio felt that, and I think he's done. And there he goes. He's tapping. Late in the match, he scores a fall. Drop kick. Great athleticism. Look out from behind, Seamus just blindsided King Corbin's scheduled opponent. This is broken out into a battle of kings. And only one king is gonna bend the knee.
This match is underway as King Booker and SmackDown's reigning King of the Ring take on King Corbin and Sheamus in a battle to determine SmackDown's one true king. It's a full house of kings here on SmackDown. The full house is actually when, you know what, never mind. Saxton, you want to play poker after the show? Hey, that sounds great. Thanks, Corey. Solid contact there. Strong kick. My goodness. He's got the answer for that one. Baron Corbin gets the tag. Gets the tag. Good golly, what a knee. Able to reverse. DDT. Now he's been put on the defensive. Yeah, even though he's still got a lot of fight in him, he might want to make a tag now and not risk further off. Taking off from the ropes. Attempting high-risk move after high-risk move at a breakneck pace. Sheamus anticipated that one. Return fire on the Celtic Warrior. Oh, oh God. Back to the ribs. Oh, targeting the stomach. Punch connects. Stomping down. Oh, not quite yet. No disqualification, no countouts. We're guaranteed to see a train load of carnage before this one is through. Yeah, this is the type of match where grudges get even uglier. You never know who or what will come out of the woodwork in a battle like this. That's when some outside interference becomes a factor, Corey. We all know that WWE superstars never forget a grudge. And bypasses the pinfall. We'll need to get a little more to put this one away. If this lands, it might be all over. Solo and Driver. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. It's nothing he hasn't been through before. Big kick. Devastating kick. Big knee to the midsection. Boom! And in all momentum has been taken from Corbin. Corbin might just be waiting for an opportune time. Piercing strike. 
Really just laying it in. Strikes with a kick. Oh, a sliding elbow. This match is underway as the Intercontinental Champion defends his title against an always confident superstar in Riddle. Confident on social media, sure, but let's see if he can back it up in the ring tonight. Well, uh, believe it or not, I actually agree with Corey. If Riddle thinks social media is the path to the Intercontinental Championship, he still has a long way to grow in WWE. Yes. Nice. Oh, solid contact there. Hapless situation for Riddle. Driven face first. He takes control. A series of reversals. Wow, springboard attack. Stomping down. Getting sucked. Oh, what a kick. Well placed kick. Riddle reverses. And now Riddle with a German suplex. Wait, is that Goldberg? Spear, spear. What the hell is happening? I have no idea. And Goldberg nails Riddle with a jackhammer. I'm trying to process what happened here. Riddle looked to be on his way to potentially winning the Intercontinental Championship, and then Goldberg came out of nowhere, leading to a no contest. I'm with you, Byron. This was completely unexpected. It doesn't look like it was a surprise to the champion. Goldberg and Riddle do have some history with each other. Maybe that led to the champion giving Goldberg the opportunity to finally get some payback here tonight. We'll have to wait to find out how and why this all transpired. But in the meantime, the Intercontinental Champion will be leaving here tonight with his gold intact. Plenty of battles waged over the Intercontinental Championship over the years between legends and absolute titans of this business. This match could easily be history in the making. Fall away moonsault. Wow. Producing a trampling. Making that shoulder vulnerable. He saw that one coming. The challenger looking shaken. In triple threat, the damage comes twice as fast. He knew that coming in. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Ow! Yeah. Oh, Crossbody! 
He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. A uh, big height on that move, Saul. Nice takedown. Oh, look at this. Oh, kicks. Oh, man. Good grief. Put your lights out. The springboard attack fails to land. Larian. Boom. It's okay. They weren't that pretty anyway. Boom. DDT. He steps foot in the ring again. Painful attack focused on the chest. The Celtic Warriors' chances are waning. Yeah, Sheamus is getting beaten down. Catching a drop kick. Challenger. Here's the pin title on the line. There we go. That could have been it right there. Uh oh. Uh. Riddle turns that around. Excellent opportunity for Riddle to shift the momentum. If Riddle was looking for an opportunity to pull a 180, that could be it. Oh, a step up in Zagari. A deafening blow to the chest. Close line. The sound of this crowd is deafening. Champion, Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Smoke. What a tremendous effort from all three superstars involved in this hard-hitting triple threat. We knew these three would put on a show, but I do not think anyone predicted just how intense this match would be. I think one man did, and it's the one currently celebrating his win. Outside noise surrounding the bitter rivalry between Riddle and the Intercontinental Champion, but that all ends tonight in an empty Bro. arena steel cage match for the championship. No more Sheamus, no more Orton, no more Goldberg. Just the two superstars who started this mess. Riddle versus the champ. And no more social media, Saxton. It's time to settle this in the ring. That was good, Corey. Can't quite get him there. Oh. Ah! First one missed, second one didn't. Effective. Launching himself from the ropes. Ooh, well measured. Able to avoid any harm there. These two showing how well scouted they each are. What a oh, chop. That'll fillet your chest. Dominance, power slam. Oh, moon salt. Riddle is waning a bit now. I think this riddle's almost solved. Nice evasion by Riddle. Back and forth from these competitors. Double axe handle. Hit the mark with that one. Kick! He manages to escape it. Stiff kick. Riddle looking vulnerable. The STF, the STF is locked in. But champions need to finish the job. And the champ stands tall once again. Here is your winner. And
Get ready for the world premiere of Elias's brand new song. Hello, I am Elias, and I am the man who... Where did he come from? I don't know, but thank you. These two had an issue on social media about this song. That must be what this is all about. You wanna write stupid songs about me, huh? This is what happens. No one's ever gonna hear it now. I'm shutting you up for good. You're never going to sing again. It's one thing to take issue with a song lyric, but that crossed the line. I agree, Michael. Maybe you're right, but hey, at least we didn't have to hear Elias sing. Yeah, we might not again for quite some time. The voice of SmackDown may have been temporarily silenced, but Elias won't go down quietly as he takes on the superstar responsible for the ruthless attack. Oh, the voice of SmackDown? I thought that was you, Michael. Very observant, Byron. Wait, is anybody actually upset that Elias can't sing right now? Elias' opponent should be considered a hero. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Oh, what measure strike? Oh, stomping away. Oh, kick finds it. Boom! Oh, stinging kick. Did you see that? Propelled through the air. And Elias is on the downside of things right now. And Elias needs to figure things out quick. He must have had that scouted. Hits the drop kick. Reverses it. Good timing with that reversal. And another counter. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Stops the kick. Knee right to the face. Going for the home run. Yes, oh. Elias's eyes look glazed over. Since Elias was first attacked on SmackDown, the war of words with his assailant has only intensified. All leading to tonight's no disqualification climax. I believe the musical term is a crescendo, Cole, and the volume will be turned up all the way as both superstars look to have their last word. If you ask me, Elias' opponent will be the one singing the blues after this encounter. He turns it around. Ouch. Good grief. That's a chop that'll wake you up. Inflicting pain at will. Oh, costly error there. He's absorbed some damage already. He planned for this and could still rally. Down on the neck with reckless abandon. Ooh. Stomping. Ouch. Elias fends that off. And responds with a counter of their own. Packs a well-placed punch. Elias with the retaliation. Look at this, going counter for counter. Ooh. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Ooh, a sharp kick.
Gets him with the counter. The WWE Tag Team Division is more competitive than ever. As these two teams get into it, I can almost guarantee this match will be one to remember. The standards for tag team action just keep getting higher and higher around here. From the middle rope! What a roundhouse kick! Oh, goodness, what a moonsault! Oh, foot just stomping down! He's able to sidestep there. Okay, it's the mark. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Yeah, he might want to tag out just to have the freshman teammate in right now. Not that he can't fend for himself right now. Oh! Oh, my God! Jimmy's looking helpless to every attack. Yeah, Jimmy keeps getting cut down at every move. He's bracing for it. You can't prepare your face for that. Oh, the star! That was the best one I've ever seen. Oh, he may get the three count right here. I think so. Two, three. Oh, he got it. What a win! I don't think I've had the chance to tell you this, but I actually see a lot of potential in you. In fact, you kind of remind me of myself. Highly athletic, super likable, intercontinental champion, well, former in my case. You just need that extra push to get you to the next level. Thanks? No problem. And in fact, since we're so compatible, I think I could actually help you make that leap. So what do you say? I wasn't really looking for help, but... I guess I'm willing to give it a shot. Great. From now on, I'll be at ringside for all your matches to assist you as needed. Okay, but I really just want you out there in a coach-type role. Nothing hands-on, if you know what I mean. Of course. Say no more. Totally understand. I really feel like this is the start of something special. See you out there. Tonight, the WWE Universe gets its first glimpse of what could be a powerful new alliance on SmackDown between the Intercontinental Champion and his new mentor of sorts, Sami Zayn. With Sami watching at ringside, the Intercontinental Champion defends his title against the always dangerous Chad Gable. The Intercontinental Champion clearly has his eyes set on the future, but he'll be in serious trouble if he overlooks Gable here tonight. Now, oh, trampling the opposition. He knew that was coming. Yeah. Great job refocusing to reverse that. Able to get out of the way. Oh, man. Oh, my. 
sent flying. He avoids the damage. Never saw it. Amazing! I mean, I thought you were talented before, but seeing you up close made me realize just how special you really are. Yeah, that was a nice win. But what was up with you breaking up that pin? I thought we had an agreement that you were just out there to observe. Nothing hands-on. That was blatant cheating. Whoa, whoa, no need to throw around the C-word like that. Look, I only did what I did as a last resort. You were going to lose your Intercontinental Championship. And besides, you would have done the exact same thing. We're pretty much the same person, remember? I'm starting to have my doubts about that. And what you did wasn't necessary. I was going to kick out. We can go back and watch the tape. I'm not so sure you had things under control. Yeah, well, I'm not so sure I can trust you. Where is this coming from? You won the match and you're still champion. We have a good thing going. Don't ruin it. And I promise I have nothing but the best intentions for you. I don't know. Look, I have an idea how we can erase your doubts and help strengthen our bond a bit. Next week, we're going to team up together. Okay? Sound good? Yeah. Sounds good. Taking it old school tonight with a little two-on-two -two tag team action. Doesn't get any more classic than this. You truly get the best of both worlds, and sometimes pairings you really didn't see coming. Hey, kind of like you and me, Corey. I would very much like to be excluded from this narrative, Saxton. Able to interrupt the attack. And misses on the springboard. Great wherewithal on the counter. Ooh, he's lost some of his win now. Right now, he's thinking one of two things, Cole. I need to get out of here, or I'm going to answer this call and pay it back. Probably down on the opponent. Ah. Oh, the moonsault connects. Taking a chance one more time and landing with incredible impact. Well, that connects on a kick. Another huge win. See? 
What did I tell you from the beginning? When we're working together, no one can stop us. That was definitely a nice win. But there was one thing that bothered me. Here we go again. Now what? Well, it just seemed like you were insisting on getting the win out there. It just made me think, like, maybe this isn't so much about helping me as it is about advancing your own career. Maybe I got caught up in the moment, but it's a tag team match. Emphasis on team. It doesn't matter who wins as long as we win, right? Yeah, no, you're right, I guess. Anyway, enough about that. I've got something super cool lined up for you next week. Part of you reaching the next level is being able to beat opponents you're not familiar with. So that's why I got this mask guy, El Ordinario, coming in to face you. He can really go from what I've heard, so make sure you bring your A-game. Okay, sounds interesting. Oh, and there's one other thing. I, I can't believe I almost forgot to tell you this. I'm actually getting my wisdom teeth out next week, so I won't be out there in your corner. You'll have to face Ordinario on your own, but don't worry, you'll be fine. Sure, right. This isn't weird at all. Weird? It's a totally normal sequence of events. You got this. Hot off two wins with his new mentor, Sami Zayn, by his side. The Intercontinental Champion will go it alone tonight against a fresh face on SmackDown, El Ordinario. Or at least a fresh mask, Michael, because there are rumors buzzing throughout the WWE Universe that the face under the mask might not be so fresh at all. And it does seem like an odd time for Sami to get his wisdom teeth out, but who are we to question the wisdom of a veteran superstar like Sami Zayn? Oh, what a four. Evading offense. Oh! The challenger eating up some damage. Taking on some offense, but he expected as much. Producing a trampling. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Oh, that'll turn your skin red. This snap suplex. Lands the crossbody. Set him up. Oh, and it. Wait a minute. Is that Sami Zayn? Well, now I'm very confused. Uh, who's under the mask? It's El Ordinario. I told you not to question Sami Zayn's honesty, Saxton. Oh. For the win to retain the championship. One, two. Breaks the count. Getting dangerously close to ending it all there. There. Saw that one coming. Took advantage. Ah. Reciprocate.
Hey, big win over El Ordinario. You really stepped up and answered the challenge. Thanks, but I thought you weren't going to be here this week. What happened with your wisdom teeth? Oh, I actually recovered much quicker than I thought I would, and decided last minute to come support you. I barely made it in time, which is why I came out in the middle of the match. I know you haven't approved of all my methods, so I hope that was okay. No, it was. And if we're being honest, I actually have something to tell you. I kind of thought maybe this whole thing with the unknown opponent and your wisdom teeth seemed a little shady. And this is crazy, but I thought you were going to be under the mask. Oh. Really? It just got me thinking that this was all some big scheme to try to take my intercontinental title, and now I feel terrible. I never really gave you a fair chance. No, no, it's okay, and don't feel bad. I've definitely done some shady things before, so I can see why you'd think all that. Sorry. Stop, it's okay. Let's just get past this, all right? I'll be back in your corner next week, and we'll pretend like nothing ever happened. You've got enough to worry about with defending your title, and you don't need any other distractions. Okay, thanks. You're right. Sounds good. The Intercontinental Championship held by over a dozen WWE Hall of Famers. The likes of Stone Cold Steve Austin, Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart. Well, that title symbolizes the workhorse of WWE. Well, certainly has a history of being the largest stepping stone any individual can climb. Known to put superstars on the map. All facts that these men know very well. Saw that one coming. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Laying it in. He's able to fend off the attack. Oh man, right across the chest. Shifts it back onto him. Neck is trapped. Neck on suplex. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. If he can hold the line here, he'll be in a good position. That was beautiful. Successful title defense for the Intercontinental Champion. Yeah, I have to give credit to Sami Zayn. It's no coincidence the IC champ has been on a roll since he aligned with Sami. What the heck? What was that all about? I have no idea. Why should I be a good person and try to help you if you won't even give me a chance, huh? Answer me. There's no point to any of this. From now on, I'll just be what you and everyone else thinks I am. A shady liar, a cheat, and the man who is going to take your title. Wow. In a matter of seconds, everything just changed for the Intercontinental Champion. Did I say the champion was on a roll with Sammy? Yeah, I meant collision course. How quickly the tables have turned here on SmackDown as the Intercontinental Champion defends his title against his former mentor, Sami Zayn. I hate to say I told you so, but Sami Zayn has proven time and time again that he's only looking out for one superstar, and that's Sami Zayn. The IC champ should have just trusted his mentor. Am I the only one who thinks Sami's right here? Yes, Corey. Yes, you are. Oh, man. Chinoku driver. The challenger's looking shaken. He had to be prepared to take some damage tonight. Stop it. Ouch. He foiled that attempt. Good contact. Here we 
Intercontinental Champion may be a week older, but he doesn't appear to be a week wiser after giving Sami Zayn yet another opportunity to compete for his IC title. Wisdom has certainly become a part of his story after Sami Zayn claimed his slow healing wisdom team held him back last week in his loss. All I'll say is this. It's nice to see both of these superstars finally at full strength and ready to compete for the Intercontinental Championship on an even playing field. Consecutive high-risk maneuvers and the pace of this match has certainly picked up. And a kick. Stomping down. Oh, perfect kick. Oh. That kick will stop me in your tracks. Strikes with a kick. He must have seen that coming. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Counters, this could be an opportunity. Spear! Is it enough? There's two! Breaks the count at two. He's still in the fight, but for how much longer? Zayn held close. The FTM, the FTM is locked in! I think the champ's got it. And the champ stands tall once again. Here is your winner. I have an interesting offer for you, if you'll just hear me out. Okay, I'm intrigued. As you know, Bobby Lashley and I are WWE's top power couple. And after careful consideration, we've decided to expand our influence by becoming a power trio. A power trio, huh? And you're considering me? Yes, and don't get any ideas about the two of us. Your role would be strictly business. My relationship with Bobby outside the ring is rock solid. It's simply a way for the three of us to team up and use our combined talents to get ahead in WWE. And you want to answer right now? Yes. There's no room for indecisiveness in this situation. We want someone on our side who knows what they want. You know what? I've been looking for a change of pace. So what the hell? Why not? <laughs> All right. Our power trio is complete. Okay. The plan is to ease into things by working on our chemistry together. So you're going to team up with Bobby with me in your corner, and we'll see how that goes. So sure, let's do this. Here we get our first look at a new alliance looking to make waves on SmackDown. It's Bobby Lashley, Dana Brooke, and the newest member of their so-called power trio are in action. You know, I consider us a power trio too. Uh, no way, in absolutely no way. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on that too. Anyway, Let's find out how the new group fares against Lindsay Dorado and Graham Metalik. He's getting a little battered now. If he's smart, he'll make attack soon. A break on the apron could help him mitigate this damage. Down with a DDT! <laughs> Leaping through the air! Now trampling the opposition. Tombstone and route. One floor. Wow. Into the cover. And he kicks out of the pin and one. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. Oh, what a spin.
Tag team action underway. Truly one of the hallmarks of sports entertainment. That's right, Cole. As a former tag team champion myself, I have to say these matches hold a special place in my heart. Bang! Nice contact. Springboard on oh, Springboard into the kick. That was disastrous. Oh, launching himself in the ropes. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. He saw it coming, taking advantage. A big splash. Yeah. What are we going to see here? Oh, a neck breaker. Tonight, the object of Dana Brooks' affections has decided to go his own way in a singles match, perhaps to let things cool off with an out former ally, Bobby Lashley. <laughs> Funny story. I accidentally posted what was supposed to be a DM once, too. No one cares, Saxton. Let's go to the match. Tied up between the ropes. It's about to get worse. Look at these knee strikes. Lashley said his now former ally was going to pay for breaking up their power trio, and he's delivering on his promise. Some wear and tear. Not gonna think about 
picking up the pace a bit. is getting pushed beyond the normal limits. Menelik able to avoid impact. Slimway! How's that for a counter? Yeah, that's a good way to make your presence felt. Uh-oh, uh-oh. A long way up. Understand the sentiment, but now is not the time to bask in disbelief. Nice cross body. Hoping to end it here. This is it. One, two. No stops the count at two. Really had less than a second to stay alive there. to the midsection. Sunset oh, no. into a powerball. And this match will head back to the ring. String board. What started as strictly business has turned into anything but as Bobby Lashley will take on a SmackDown superstar that's being accused of breaking Dana Brooks' heart. Whether he broke Dana Brooks' heart or broke his power trio contract, it's clear that this relationship is broken beyond repair. And with this much strength in the ring tonight, those might not be the only things that end up getting broken tonight. Big kick. Dana Brooke is here, but whose side is she on? Considering one of these superstars pretty much just dumped her on social media, I think it's safe to say she's siding with Lashley. Schoolboy! Shoulders are down! Not much behind that pin attempt. Trying to catch him off guard with that attempt. And out of the ring he goes. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Oh, and that buys some time. Catches the kick. That's the only Well measured. Whoa! Oh, Lashley 
Lashley with good timing on the reversal. These two showing how well scouted they each are. And now he's giving you all another chance to simply take it all in. Great reversal. That'll rearrange the spine. Don't know if you heard, but there's a superstar shakeup coming up. How do you think that's going to turn out for me? That's up to you. Since you're a main eventer here on SmackDown, you have the option to be protected from switching brands. Or you could choose to be eligible. Anything else I should know? There's a stipulation saying that any champions who go to another brand will be forced to vacate their titles. That pretty much covers it. I think a potential change of scenery sounds good. Put me in the shakeup. All right. All superstars participating in the shakeup must compete this week so the other GMs can see them in action. So what do you have lined up for me? William Regal from NXT has mentioned he'd like to see you in a singles match. While Mandy Rose said she'd like to see how you work as part of a team. So basically, which GM do you want to cater to? I'd rather impress Mandy Rose to better my chances of going to Raw. So put me in the tag match. Done. And if this is it, well, it's been quite the ride. It sure has. What a night here on SmackDown. You can almost feel the balance of power shifting with the superstar shakeup right around the corner. That's right. This could be the final match on SmackDown for some very high profile superstars. And nobody knows that better than all of our general managers who are watching the action very closely. Oh. He lets him out. Curious decision there, Michael. Oh, foot just stomping down. Golly, that sounded rough. Connects on the kick. Both wrists captured. And that was nasty. He fends off the attack. Oh, my gosh. A final moonsault slam. Can Orton withstand this attack? Orton needs to return to his instincts. Oh, bruising attack to the body. And that one misses the mark. He still might have an up. Oh, no 